Drew, you killed this shit. Drew, you killed this shit. What's up, everybody? We back. Season three. It's your boys in the four corners of wrestling podcast, baby, in your ear. What's happening with the visuals? I got my boy Quavo. We got Hollywood. What's up, fellas? Let's start with you, Quavo. Quavo. What's happening, doggy? It's wrestle, so no, it's not wrestle media. It's Quavo. What's up? What's up, yo? How about your boy Quavo? What to do? Three. Yeah, man. Yeah. Season three, three, baby. Season three. Uh, tree. Three time. Tree. One, two, tree. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Saying what's up to uh, the brother over there with the Hokamania antics. Hollywood himself. Multi man. What's happening? Hollywood. <laughs> Since we all don't like Hulk Hogan no more, I'm the only one that can do his moves now. We don't care about him. I get the pop when I do his moves. Look, look, listen to all the people. You hear all the people? Y'all hear all the people? Rasta Man said he gonna remix it. He said, hey, go, I am a real Jamaican man. <laughs> he told hey, me- like, Jamaican man. He's he showing up for the 50th. Hey, we back with season three for the 50th, baby. He What's told that? me, he told me that he feel like Cody Rhodes. Cody. And we need to negotiate. Oh. oh. Get his services back on here. So I told him, I'm not paying him. <laughs> paid him. We paid him for the last two seasons, and our range didn't go up because of him. Uh, <laughs> I'm willing to pay him in uh Popeye's coupons that I'm gonna steal from Jay Will. Ooh, that's that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> hey Popeye's, cut the check. Nah, don't cut us no checks. Well, don't cut, cut us a check. No, don't cut us checks. Clip, clip. Sorry, we need that money. We need them royalty. No, no, no. <laughs> take that. No, take that back. Cut <coughs> we want the money. Keep the food. Yeah, we need yeah. To do the coup- coupons. Cut the check. Yeah, cut. Forget the coupon. I don't need ten dollars off. I need ten dollars. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Multiply it by a lot of little monies. Yeah, a lot of. Just give us a. Just give us a big huge check. Matter of fact, this is what we're gonna do, Popeyes. You give us a big huge check. We make sure that at least a fourth of it will come back to you. None of the three people you see right now will be spending any of the money on it. <laughs> But we do have one person. We do have one person that's not here today. That I believe that if we get, if you give us a boatload of money, a fourth of it probably will come back to you if you give us the money. Because if one that's of us a, that's a twenty five percent return. Uh, on that's you, not too bad. Got, Listen, uh, Popeyes, uh, half gonna go back to it. <laughs> no, 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 no. The reason why I say a fourth. Is because I'm not spending none of my money on it. I'm sure Marshall's not, and I'm sure my Cody, buddy's going to Chick Fil A. My right. buddy's going to Chick Fil A. Right. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure that them they're not going to. You, usually, I would make a joke about what they were spending on, but the joke's not on them today. The other fourth of the money that we get <laughs> that we have to split <laughs> is with Jay Will. That's why I said they'll get a fourth back because yeah, and I'm saying half his earn is going to go back to Popeyes. No, he's going to spend all of it there. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> if he all gets that, it. plus he gets to keep the money from his job, he's going to basically spend the same amount of money that he got from them to uh, on the Popeyes. What the Popeyes every night, baby man? I'm we grub it in that what? man. Popeyes, Popeye chicken. Monday, Popeyes. Tuesday, Popeyes. Wednesday, Popeyes. Thursday, Popeyes. Jay Friday, we have Popeyes for breakfast and we having Popeyes for dinner. Right, Jay Saturday, we're going to do lunch and dinner. And then Sunday, we got to do the family dinner. Jay Will, <laughs> Popeyes. Popeyes, and listen. the shrimp tackle box at the same time. Popeyes, oh. I need you to understand. <laughs> Give us a check. 
and you guys will be able to do what Burger King, Wendy's, and all the other places did to compete with McDonald's. You guys will be able to open up breakfast food. I promise you, if you give us the money, they no. will we'll make sure <laughs> that y'all have breakfast food. You said you're going to have monies. breakfast like Taco Bell. More little money to your account. <laughs> and next week, matter of fact, oh, we, listen, I'm no fool. We know Jay will not going to listen to this episode. You know why you're not going to listen to this episode? Because we're not going to tell him to listen to this episode. <laughs> we have a group chat, so we're not going to tell him in the group chat, hey, Jay, well, you better listen to up. Nope. Nobody say nothing. He not going to hear this. So Popeyes, next week, we're going to get Jay Will to come on here and give a list of foods that Popeyes can make for the breakfast menu. <laughs> Cut the check, man. Marshall. And then y'all cut the He's he going to workshop it. He's going to workshop it. You're good to go. <laughs> and we in there, baby. We in there. Creative hey, talent development. Back, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we ain't Mr. B, baby. We ain't Mr. B. Back for the 50th. The fifth. One, two, three, four. Fifth. Fiftieth. Fiftieth. Four Corners Wrestling. You can find us in the club. Bottle full of bub. My mommy ain't got to do need 50 Cent look like me at the, at the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, man, we're going to be talking about wrestling. <laughs> oh. Tell me, me too. All out of breath. Oh, <laughs> damn. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Listen, man, oh, I'm trying man. to get a scene in her this year, man. Oh, One, man. I got to go. Hey, merch coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you cop the merch. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so y'all know when that next podcast dropping. We here. We about to get started. All right, y'all. Hold on. What's up? What's up? Got to tell them. Matter of fact, I help you. We'll do it as a team. Where else are we located now? Remember last ah, time? The last time yeah. I heard it, it was only one season place. Season three. Season three. three. It's only one season place. Three. Upgrades. Upgrades. We're the upgrade. Upgrades. We're upgrades. We're the end so of yeah, four quarters hey, wrestling 3.0. Catch us hey, on. Not just YouTube. Nope. Where we at? Apple. Catch us oh. on Apple. Catch us on Spotify. <laughs> and Google Podcasts, baby. We lit. <laughs> We live. Did I miss anything, Hollywood? That, that, we, we out there. You know what I'm saying? We out there. Hey, soon coming to a network near you. Put it out there. We manifesting over here, baby. That's right. FS1. Cut the check. Hey, here we go. Y'all ready for some wrestling? Hey, starting off Monday nights. We got Raw. Mm. Fabul Cheese on Raw, y'all. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> Start it off. Yes, sir. I got my notes right here. Let me dust my notes off. Because I watched Raw. Did anybody catch Raw? Hollywood? Quavo? Yeah. I caught some of it. Cool, cool. I caught yeah, it. Caught some of it. Hey, what you think about Tribal Chief coming out to start, man? Vince McMahon is cutting the check. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. He's so good that people are cheering him now the way they want that WWE wanted him to get cheered all along. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to change him face soon. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to. And then eventually, Vince is eventually going to get his way. As Vince does. As Vince does. You know, he, you know what? He made a detour, you know, mm -hmm. and it worked. It was nice. How long has he been a heel? Well, almost what two years, three years now, and when through the pandemic, so yeah, through the pandemic, be these two years. Yeah, two thousand twenty-two. I think it was. When do we all go back? When do we all? Because I know we all kind of like all went from work at around the same time. So I think I, I believe I went, came back. I I was sent home March twenty, the March of two thousand twenty. Right. So at least, like I said, two years probably about. He came back at SummerSlam, I believe, that year. Mm -hmm. So almost two years he's been a heel, and look what the man is doing, man. I mean, now I will say the opening, I didn't take notes, so 
I could just go mm-hmm. to my memory. The opening was cool as hell because he's like, acknowledge me. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, the Usos get hit with the RKO and it's like, he looking around like, what the hell? Like, right. And oh, I'm like, what the hell? And Paul Heyman got out of there. Right. He got out of this quick. Quick. They turned the camera on Roman. He was gone. <laughs> you didn't see him the rest of the whole segment. Right. So it was, it, I mean, you got the tribal chief to save the day. Hey, hey but get to that point, though. We got to backtrack. Okay. Right. We got to go back to uh, SmackDown. Okay. Because when, when SmackDown started, you know what I'm saying? It was the contract signing with RK Bro and the Usos. He made the dude right? his contract. Hey. Hey. <laughs> hey, Randy. Randy. Yes. My man say, hey, what, what Riddle told him, he was like, yeah, I can't tell him apart. We need name tags. I just say the Usos need name tags. I can't tell him apart. Randy was like, hold on. You telling me after all this time? You can't tell them apart. Be like, oh, oh, sh- that's the right hand man. Right. Yeah. And that's a little bitch. Like, <laughs> contract signing over, dog. Like nobody signed. We get the tribal chief coming out. You know what I'm saying? Next thing you know, because 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 RK Bro had the upper hand on the Usos. You know what I'm saying? Tribal chief had to come to save him. Super kick party. Uh, what they called it now, the D1, it used to call, be called uh, the 3D. Yeah. Ah, oh, the what now, it right? done. The day one. Yeah. The what, it, what it done. And and then we get... Uh... They jacked their move. <laughs> they sure did. They sure did. Renamed it, too. I don't know. I like the, I like the little name they got. The, the D1, day one. Uh, mm-hmm. No. No. <laughs> that's some S le- that's that's some S level tier bullshit right there. I mean, Marshall. I guess it works because they're heels. Mm-hmm. But I mean it, it's still the 3D to me. Right. I think uh Bully Ray and uh and Devon. They can do it. Right the Usos can do this for 20 years and it's still gonna always be the 3D. Uh, yep. right, right. Like Kevin Owens used the stunner, he can change it all he wants. He can change the name what he wanted, the KO stunner, or whatever, the KO mm-hmm. kryptonite or whatever he want to call it. I don't <laughs> know it's gonna be the Stone Cold stunner to me. Yeah, look, look, look. You could put a picture on it and call it blue ribbon for all you care. You know, for all I care. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. don't be going around here calling it blue diamond, because that ain't what it is. You know what I mean? <laughs> now the only thing that's like similar to that, to the same type of conversation, is diamond cutter in the RKO. Like oh, I, and, uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. And right. that Cody Rhodes yeah. got Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes, the Cutter, Cody. Cody's yeah, still called Cody cutter. cutter. Yeah, yeah it's still I called like Cutter. That off the rope. I like that off the rope. Wow. Yeah, but I mean, I think with anybody else that does the RKO, to me, it's a it's a diamond cutter. Mm. Yeah, Randy does the RKO, but you know, I guess. Well, R- Riddle Riddle kind of does the RKO too. Yeah, but that's, I mean, you, I mean that, yeah. that is RKO. But you see yeah. what you call it? it though? The RKO you're not calling it. You're not calling yeah, it. Yeah, I call it the cutter. Yeah, you're it the RKO because he's with he's he's with Randy. He's with Randy, yeah, because he's RK bro. But Cody's bro. moving the same damn move, and it's the cutter. Right. So it was a good segment. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed. But it. before that, SmackDown started off with the steel cage match with Sami Zayn. Drew McIntyre, the top baby face of SmackDown. Interesting match. Drew gets the win. Uh, oh, we running down like this? Oh shit! I'm I'm not even prepared. Hey, we just gonna have fun with it, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Freestyle there was some commentary. Okay. I had to catch with with Pat. Pat talking about uh, <laughs> Drew gonna pe- punish Sammy's ass. And shout out to Pat McAfee. He's doing a great job on SmackDown. But Paul's in that comment, Pat. Like, no, you're doing great. But <laughs> that was a pause moment right there. Um, Quavo's like, yeah, what? I didn't even catch none of that. Yeah, you missed a good match, Still K. Did you catch the Still K match, Hollywood? Yes. What you think about that, John? I mean, I don't really like Drew. 
Mm. I agree with you. So you don't like the idea of him being a top baby face? No. Okay, so yes, I do, but I don't. As a, a hard worker and his accomplishments, he should be there. I give him that. I personally can't get with the dude. I just, something doesn't connect me with him. Like, I like Drew better as a heel. I'm just talking about him as a baby face. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like him better as a heel. He has one of those moves similar to the RKO and the, uh, the, the cutter that comes out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? But that joint looks like Daniel Bryan's move. But um, as far as the magic goes, I mean, <laughs> it's a SmackDown still cage match. You weren't going to get much. Um, but you got a lot. Mm-hmm. You did. That's all I can say. And mm-hmm. I know to people it sounded like I didn't watch the match. I did. I 100% watched it. I just don't remember nothing because I didn't take no notes. <laughs> I, didn't, I, don't th- I, didn't, I didn't think we were going to talk about it. But hey, you know. <laughs> we freestyling, man. We freestyling. Season three, baby. Fuck Surprises. You know, Fuck hey, we just because you did we that, I, just because you did that, I'm turning on AEW immediately. <laughs> just, if, so people, if you ask me about AEW, I'm telling y'all in real time what's going to happen. So if you haven't seen it yet, you're going to be blown. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh, Quavo, did you cut the? Uh, you can cut the check. The Mar- you can cut yeah. the check to Marshall right now. Matter of fact, right now, motherfucking MJF is on my screen with Warlow. Just so y'all oh, know, hey, MJF, my dude. Oh, yeah, so, I turn that on. Ah, just so y'all up. know. Yeah, that's messed oh, up. Shit. I'm, that's I'm that's mad. I'm mad. We need some time to record. Cause you want to throw curveballs? I told you. I see. Cause I love Jay. Shout out to Jay. Jay, I love you. Giggity giggity. Jose, Jose, yeah. I'm about to do a Tupac. Now, I told you, niggas, that this was only about Jay Will. But since you want to come out there and you want to get into it, all right. <laughs> F-Soul, <laughs> man. <laughs> F-Soul Productions as a staff, a record label. And if you down with Soul, man, F you too. <laughs> Oh man! Okay, Ruby oh. Soho, Ruby Soho, Britt Baker. Uh, I think that's I think that's uh, Tony Storm. It looked like the, the WWE. Oh, they got Ruby Soho back. Yeah, she's not she, on dark she, anymore. Yeah, oh, she, 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 she ain't she, never. She just never. She, she just been on dark. You know what I'm saying she's not time. on dark anymore. They got her back on TV. She was. No, she's not wrestling. She was. She was that she, Oh, okay. There yeah, she's go. backstage there talking to Tony. Is they got the they got the uh, WWE. Releases re- rejects, and then they got the 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 homegrown AEW rejects. Oh. Britt Baker and the other girl that I don't know that always been with Britt that ain't never done. Oh, nothing. Britt Baker is a WWE reject also. Oh. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, but she made I, Britt actually more than anybody else. What well, I can't say more than anybody else, but more than any other woman in AEW, she's she made her name in AEW. She didn't make her name or or in the indie. She didn't make her name in WWE. Nobody really knew that she was in WWE until WWE started putting the videos out there of her getting demolished by Nia, Nia Jack. True. I ain't never, I ain't know who the hell Britt Baker was when I first saw her. And it never came to my mind that she was in NXT or any of that because she really wasn't there that long. I think she was used for a squash match. Yeah, so. Yeah, so she wasn't in, in WWE. She was just a local talent. They probably was in Pittsburgh. <laughs> and when they do, and you know how they do them local towns, they get, oh, some, yeah. they get some dude called Brutus Brutus Samuels. Oh, no, nah, hold up, hold up, hold up. I got one for you. Hold on, because I watched uh, Raw SmackDown, right? And I got somebody here for you. Where was uh, Mahal? What's his name? Veer? Look through my notes right quick. You black got the list. I talk about the black duty for. Yeah, he Lord, got more cable man. time than anybody black person on AEW. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He got to talk. He got to say where he was from. Like he worked down the street. And uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you if you black on AEW, you not doing too much talking. On dynamite, oh, I don't dynamite. Uh, 
Oh man! I get uh, three oh. sentences on, okay. on 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 Rampage, but not Bert on Bert Henson. Name. Who? Shout out to Bert Henson. Yeah, him. Yeah, he, he he lived out his dream. Congratulations! You working down the street at Steamy's Barbecue? Shout out to Steamy's Barbecue down the street. And hey, Bert Henson, Bert, Bert, you lived your dream. Yes, you did, bro. You got you got. Clothesline the shit knocked out of you, boy. <laughs> like, boy, Dear Mahal just straight abused you in front of your people. What you live your dream. Hey. And that's what matters. Live. That's what matters, bro. Hey, hey, even if you're down the street from Steamy's Barbecue, hey, you got people that can come in and see you at Steamy's Barbecue and you live your dream and you let Beer Mahal straight demolish you. In front of your girl, you got kids, your kids seen you get smacked up upside the rope. Everybody come in to see me barbecue. Hey. But you're making this sound like it's a bad thing, though. <laughs> nah, man. It, hey, the way he got punished, I'm like, dang. Yeah, but got paid. yeah, I mean, but at least he wasn't in WrestleMania, uh, uh, uh what was it, eight, and, and the Ultimate Warrior came back and beat me in 10 seconds. What do you mean? Like squash matches happen. Let's not get my man Bert like that, man. My man nah, Bert. I had to do a little, little shoot. I had to do a little shoot promo right there, man. Because I was like, he had to shout. He was like, yeah, I'm down the street at Steamy's Barbecue. I was like, oh shit. You can't tell people that like that. I ain't never been on TV with me. <laughs> you can't. Like, remember when Lamar Ball? Remember the Lamar Ball and the Ball family? He was like, get that nigga, get that nigga <laughs> on national TV. <laughs> Yeah, yo. The bar hey, took his that shirt that off. Week. Yeah. And right. if that wasn't part of the plan. Oh my goodness. He straight freestyled that John dog. No, he did it by himself. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah by yeah. himself. He went into business for himself. And it was hilarious. I think I laughed about that for a week. So this was no different than that. You know, I mean, hey, he got paid by he yeah. got a WWE check. I ain't mad at that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he could have left, he could have did a better promo. You know that. But what you knew, you knew you was coming out there like. What is there to say? The, you, the thing is that we don't give the wrestlers credit for is they know what the result is going to be before we do. What is there for him to say if he knew he was about to get smashed like that? I ain't gonna let y'all know I work at Steamy Barbecue down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? So you come on. Uh, I'm trying to make this hey, money. I'm not business. Gonna, I'm not about to be on Raw next week, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You would know. Don't come on at me. If I got oh, hired, listen, if I got hired by WWE, you knew what I would be next week, which is Raw. I'm not about to get it. I got to go back to my real job. Come on at me at Steamy's, man. Come on at me at Steamy's, man. I got what you need down there, man. <laughs> hey, look, he might be a bartender look. down there, Drake. You never know. He might hey, be. You never know. He might be a know. waiter. He might be a waiter, and people see him now. They saw him on Raw. They know he need the fucking money. They might tip him great. You never know, bro. I don't know which team he's is. Which city were they in? Oh man, oh, I don't even remember. Find out uh, where Steamy. You need to that. find out where Steamy's is at. Steamy's. <laughs> cut the check. Cut the check. That's what I'm saying. Hey, I'm promoting Steamy's right now. Y'all promote. Nah, you making fun of Steamy's, man. You, nah, I ain't, I ain't I'm, making fun of Steamy's. I'm promoting Steamy's. Hey, I'm, hey Jose, dog. Steamy's. Trust Look, in me, Quavo. I've barbecue so many times that guess what? Steamy's barbecue is inbred in people. People on the internet right now searching Steamy's barbecue. Steamy's barbecue internet algorithm just went up 85% because of Soul Man and in the four corners of wrestling podcast right here. I wish, I, I, network wish I, I, I wish our algorithm would go up. Even, even, even though we don't know where you're located. Hey, um, right. Steamy is going to have to cut um, the check after. This which episode. one? It might be a Steamy's that every guy. Yeah. All of them. All of them. All, all of, of their algorithms. They might only up. got them. Right, right now, just about them. 95%. You keep on talking about it. It's just algorithm. Just keep on going up. Cut the check, <laughs> I don't think cut that's the how it works. You said you're boosting the analytics right now. No, we did, we we've been saying all these places cut the check this for three seasons. They ain't never respond to us. They gonna come all at checks, once. Bro. They, they, they manifesting. They all they, exactly. They, the they all gonna come They're at the, the same way. time. One day you are gonna wake up, your bank account will have millions in it. You like what the hell? You just had to pot 
Steamy. Uh-huh. Steamy. Uh, who else we to shout out? Who else we to uh, shout out? Popeyes. Nah, Popeyes. Popeyes gonna cut a big check. Uh, who else we to shout out? If I wake up. If I wake Peacock, up, we don't, we don't just Peacock, come out and get shit out of Snickers. Snickers, I, that's true. If I wake up, there's a million dollars in my bank account, I'm going directly to the bank and withdrawing $900,099 <laughs> and canceling that bank account <laughs> right after. As soon as I withdraw it, I'm canceling that bank account. <laughs> And putting that's it all it. on my Cash App card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no Cash App. Good that thing. was the one, Cash App. <laughs> yeah, Cash oh App should have been. You talking about algorithms, Quavo. Cash App should have been cut. That's a check. <laughs> oh, man. It's coming, man. It's coming. Come on, man. Hey. The damn real. All right, so moving on. Oh, moving know? on. We got the whole. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I saw that match. It was a good, it was a good steel cage match. Uh, yeah. Oh, you let's let's, let's move it on. Yeah, my favorite part was well, when uh, let me when Drew like pulled it when Drew pulled Sammy back into the cage was my favorite part. That that was funny. Mm-hmm. That's the thing about Drew being top babyface. He's not down. he's not good as a babyface. Yeah, I don't like him. As, yeah. Hard to gravitate to him. He really is. Mm-hmm. I mean, him against Roman is is a decent draw, mm-hmm. but it's still not enough to make me want to gravitate him to towards him as a face. Okay. I think the major problem is that when they try to make them baby faces, mm-hmm. like we like Cody and Cody's a baby face because the Cody story, Rose, yeah, Cody Rose. the story makes sense. His new mm-hmm. name is Cody Rose. He Cody came Rose. back to WWE. Michael Cole. So that story's there. You know what I'm saying? He's one. Our guy came back. Mm-hmm. You know and that has the story written on it. Them just telling us that Drew's a baby face and forcing it on us, that's the same thing with Roman that we didn't like about Roman. The same thing about Drew is the same thing we don't like about, we didn't like about Roman. So I don't know why they think that that works. Like what made him a baby face? When did he become a baby face? When he beat, uh, who was it he beat at that WrestleMania during the pandemic? Was it Goldberg? No, it was- to become a champion? Yeah. Brock. Uh... It was Brock. It was yeah. Brock. Brock. Yeah. Yeah. With the bro, with the with the kicks. Yeah. Yeah. It was Brock. So the fact that that you know what I'm saying he beat Brock that doesn't automatically make him a babyface to me, and mm-hmm. he's been a babyface since. Like mm-hmm. Roman beat. I don't know. Actually, Roman didn't beat Brock, but pl- not. I'm not gonna say plenty of people beat Brock, but that's just not enough for you to make him a babyface to me. Like. Mm-hmm. There's other ways to get me to like him. And that wasn't, I mean, like, we knew Brock was going away. Roman has the W now over Brock. But he didn't back then. But I I see what you mean, yeah. Yeah, it's like beating Brock, we knew Brock was leaving anyway. So, like, you beating him doesn't make me like Drew anymore. You know what I'm saying? That win didn't help me like Drew. And I also think that he suffered because there was no fans. He he was the champion, the babyface champion, when there was no fans. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm saying like that hurt his run. So yeah, man, I wish he, I mean, I wish they'd turn him back heel and he just become a cool ass heel and then we get to like him again that way organically. But when they force it on us, it's, it's kind of hard to get behind. All right, fine. Okay. Oh. Got you. There you go. See? All right. All right. Okay. All right. So after that SmackDown, John, we got Ezekiel. Kevin Owens ain't liking that shit, man. He like he's determined to prove that that's a liar. Uh, so they was backstage. Then we had uh, Alpha Academy coming out. Then we had a match. Yo, for like for real, for real, he had like an Ultimate Warrior vibe to me, man, with his outfit, the tassels around his arm, and kind of like with a little color scheme. And I don't know. Texas, other, other Texas than the Tornado. Yeah, Texas you know, Tornado Texas look. Tornado yeah. type deal. You know what I'm saying? It's like because yep. a lot of times, like. Depending on who you watch the wrestling with, you get people that get, get Texas Tornado up to more. Like, yo, that look like Ultimate Warrior. Like, nah, that's Texas Tornado. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, nice little throwback, Quavo. Nice, nice. Um, <clears throat> I really, <clears throat> Kevin Owens' athleticism is amazing. That's pretty much all I have to say about that match. It was entertaining. We already know about Street Profits' athleticism. You know what I mean? Anybody want to add to that? 
Yeah, nah, you hit it on the head. It was it was a decent one to match. Uh, yeah, to watch. Yeah, the match was decent. Hollywood. Listen, if you want to ask me about anything that happened last week or this week, I want to tell you the same thing. If it ain't the tribal chief, I don't remember. <laughs> you better off asking me what I do remember than what I don't, because I remember uh, a couple things from this week. Um, yeah, a couple of things. Remember, Bobby, new entrance. Um, mm-hmm. What do you think about that? Because I feel like he went and took the masterpiece stand, and <laughs> he went and went to stores, got the masterpiece Chris Master stand, and was like, "Here, Bobby, use this." <laughs> That's the stand he used to use when he used to show us his ass. Remember every week when he used to come on bend over? Leo Rush. That's the stand. That's the stand. Leo Rush needs to come back. Well, no, let me not say that. Bobby Lashley. I think he needs to come back, but I don't think he's going to stay long enough for him to come back, so it's not even worth it. Um, But I would love to see him come back and be Bobby Lashley's manager. Um. I, I saw the promo with uh, Cedric Alexander, which was pretty cool to see, you know, them interacting. I think he should, I think they should start up the Hurt Business too. Um, that would be dope. Um, you probably could even use the same people, but just change Bobby with Al- Almas. And you can help him get his push a little bit. You know what I'm saying? More than what, you know, he, I, I, he's getting better. But when he sucks, he's bad. So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. But he is getting better, and he's trying. So, I see why they invested in him. Um, what else do I remember? You didn't like that. Did you like the uh, what was that? The arm wrestling. That was last week. That was on the week that before. Yeah, that was week before. Oh, okay. I just yeah. told you I don't remember none of that. Yeah, see, all of it's blending in now. Damn. Yeah. Um, I liked the. I liked. Uh, what's the oh, oh, Finn, Finn, and AJ. Yeah, I saw that. I, I, that I, gave me a hand the bullet that club. Was, that I want to talk chills. about that. <clears throat> I want to talk about that. You feel bullet club coming up? You feel a bullet club thing? Nope, coming I, feel, up with nope. that? I think either yeah. two things are gonna happen nope. not a full bullet club, but they might they might start a faction too, or uh-huh. call it the club. He's gonna, on, he's gonna turn on them, Finn or AJ. AJ turns on Finn, or Finn is gonna turn on AJ. Yeah, Finn goes heel, mm-hmm. and then joins, yeah, we haven't had uh, a heel Finn joins the brood since he's gotten there, have we? Not on main roster. Well, okay, so compared to what he was in New Japan, no, hell no, right? No, but kind of sort of in um, NXT, but then again, not really because that when he got when he was about to be a part of the uh, Undisputed Era. Um, they was baby faces. He was about to be a part of Undisputed Era twice, I think. Mm-hmm. Well, they set it up looking like he was about to be a part of Undisputed Era twice. And <laughs> the last time they did it, they were baby faces, but that's when Adam Cole broke uh, Undisputed Era up. So, um, kind of, sort of, he's been a, a heel, but not really, not long enough to consider he was a heel. Okay. okay. So it'll be interesting to see him. As a heel on the main roster, if that doesn't happen. Um, it would be, but then they just are very top heavy at heels. Hmm. Yeah. You got Miz, Miz and Theory, Omos, MVP, Alexander, Tess, I'm not Tess, Edge, Damian Priest. Uh Roman. You got Tommaso Ciampa, who's who's now there. As oh, a heel. Yeah. Seth That's freaking true. Rollins. Kevin Owens. Uh, huh. Of course, the Tribal Chief. Right. Uh, Alpha Academy. Now you got Veer Mahaj, who's added to the Hill roster. So, yeah, they're, they're stacked at the Hills, man. And then their baby, their Hills, none of this. That's the bad problem with WWE right now. Um, to me, their heels, most of them can't be baby faces. And most of their baby faces that they have now aren't very good baby faces to me. Mm-hmm. I don't mm-hmm. want to see 
see Drew. Like I said, I don't want to see Drew as a baby face. Like, I just don't. And if you name yeah. it, you know. Now, on the women's side, is a little different. Yeah. On the women's side, yeah. top heavy for the baby faces. Mm -hmm. Until Bailey comes back, then it'll be a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because you got Charlotte over there at the top hill. But then everybody mm -hmm. else is a baby face. Well, just her and Becky, big time Bex. Well, they, they got. Oh, no, you got Rhea guys. As, as a heel, too. Yeah, you got That's what I'm, no, I'm talking about for SmackDown, you only really have, you only really have uh, yeah. Ronda as the baby face on, on SmackDown. True. The, the Asian girl, um, I forgot her no, name. You got Bianca. On SmackDown? Yeah. On SmackDown? Yeah. On SmackDown. Bianca's not on SmackDown. She's on Raw. SmackDown. That's right. So on SmackDown, let's see. On SmackDown, you got you got Ronda, Babyface. You already named Ronda. That's it. He's got the top. tag women champs for for SmackDown. They travel, both. yeah, yeah, yeah. Naomi and, and they travel Sasha. both shows. Turn Sasha. They tra they travel both shows though. The SmackDown, um, Naomi and Sasha. They're not this. It's not called the SmackDown Women Champion Tag Team. Yeah, it's just the, the women's tag team. They travel uh, through okay. all the boats. Yeah. They used to travel well, all three. Is it Oscar back? Is it Oscar back? So that, she's that, a baby face. Her favorite, she's a face, face on the raw. Yeah. yeah, she's on raw. That's yeah, what I'm telling you. They raw. don't got no baby. There's no baby faces on SmackDown other than Ronda for yeah, her. That's true. That's true. That's tough. Man, that means if Ronda gets jumped, nobody's going to be there to save her. <laughs> <laughs> you also got a lesson. You got Alexa Bliss as a, as a baby face as well. When have you seen her though? I mean, yeah, I'm just saying. Out. Just, just. No, 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 I hear what you're saying, but yeah, yeah we, like they we have on the women's too. side, they have a little bit. The problem is the other way around. They don't really have yeah. like top heavy heels. They got one. Right. They got two good heels, uh, really, Becky. And I, I, you know who else I, I want to give some props to that said we haven't really been been around when she really was going? Dewdrop. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Dewdrop. Thank you. Dewdrop could be something. Thank you, Hollywood. Because I've Dewdrop been saying be Dewdrop yeah. praises since she came, and you did not see anything in her. No, I thank no, you for acknowledging no, my. No, no, you slicing it now. No, he not slicing it. Don't make him a complete heel. No, no, let him hear, let him hear him out, hear him out, hear him out. He's partially right. However, when we were recording, who was she with? That's true. She was with what's her name, who shall not be mentioned. I didn't, I didn't care who she was out here I because no matter. You, know, and, and you can't see that's the thing. You and someone else. I give you that. I give you that. I give you that. But you know, However, they're turning. What did I say? They're turning Hold on, Hold on, Quavo. Hold on. I never. I, I just I, gave I, you I, your I acknowledgement. <laughs> why you <laughs> arguing? Why you need your? I just said that you that you were on her. I'm just saying oh, the right. reason why I was. I was just telling you the reason why I wasn't on her. I didn't say you were wrong. You're right. You were on her, but okay. you tend to you like you make up your own universe. So like, <laughs> factors that are factors. How nice just, he says that. Huh? I was honored. All I would say, I was honored. That's it. No, you're but what I'm saying is, better. I never said anything bad about her. I I didn't like who she was with and the role she was playing at that time. Since oh, we, man. the first thing I said, Quavo, you can back me up, Quavo. The first thing I said when I started talking about Do Drop the Day was, since we haven't been recording, uh -huh. there's been a change in character. I like that one. I don't like the one that when we was recording, she was with Eva Maria, whatever the fuck her name was. You said it. Why you say her name? It's like Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. She's yeah, I mean, I don't know why. I, I didn't like her. I don't. I didn't like she was her flunky. Right. Exactly. I didn't like that either. Right. But I'm like, that's all I said. Talent. And you said that she should be champion. I still haven't said that. <laughs> all, all I said is, all I, said, I can't remember. Exactly what was said. No, I, I know what I said. Her. I went on her. I went on her. I said that that, she, that's all I was saying. That's all I, I said, said that she I couldn't be champion. Huh. And she can't. I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Because at the time she couldn't. She can't she now. Couldn't. What the fuck? She can't now. She can't now. That don't mean that she's not good. Like I, I don't think that yeah. people understand 
that everyone has a role in the show. Everyone mm-hmm. can't be the champion. If you go, it, like, if everybody we like ever was the champion, that means there will be 750 damn champions. That's mm-hmm. true. There's no consistency to the belt. That, that degrades the belt. So yeah. if you keep flip-flopping the, like, we... But that that turns it into the 24-7 belt. And we don't need that. The hardcore championship. Like, we, yeah. we've had this conversation behind closed doors with, you know, Colin, J. Will, or anybody that's been a part of a, a part of our group. And I hate that conversation about who should have been champion. Mm-hmm. What well, they should have been champion, they would have been champion. Mm-hmm. That and the fact that if it, you make them champion, then you take away what you grew up liking. Yeah. And then that, then you just it doesn't make any sense to me. Like people say, certain people could have been champion. Okay, then when do you take away from the somebody that already was champion that we grew up watching? Mm-hmm. Well, with Cena, he's got a lot of spots where you could have just not given him the belt. Why not? I mean, no, no, not no. Yeah, there I are. Agree. There are there are a lot of moments where Cena didn't need to have the belt, and you could have given it to someone else. Like but there was a reason why they put it on him. You got to right. look at it like that. People, you, like you, got to also understand. People get injured. People be going to rehab. People be like, there was a reason. Like we just don't like that they put it on Cena, and a lot of us are grown, so we don't like Cena. Which is a conversation I cannot wait until when I tell you we about to do for this podcast, people. We about to do. He didn't throw it to me yet, so I'm not going to explain it yet. But I cannot wait because people will to be pissed at me where I rate John Cena because just like Quavo just said, like if that's the case, then nobody needed to have the belt as many times as they had the belt. Rick, 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 Rick needed it all 16. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. Not <laughs> you about, about Cena. You've seen, and the reason why I know that you can't say that, because I can't say it, because you've probably only seen one Rick Blair title run. And that's when he was old. And no, because he didn't have it when he was old. Once we once he got past WWE, and then he went back to WCW after 94, when Hogan got it back, when did he have it? So meaning Marshall, and, I, and this is not a joke, it's not, not throwing a shot. You're a little older than us. So you probably, you know what I'm saying? Like you said, you used to watch all that, you know, the territories and shit. Mm-hmm. I've been too a little bit towards the tail, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm right behind you. But mm-hmm. how many realistically Ric Flair title runs did you see? I remember the one, the NWA one. I remember he had the big jump. The big belt, the big gold belt. That's the NWA belt. Right. Uh, I'd probably say me right off the top of my head, probably two or three. And he had 16 of them bitches. 17 uh, of them bitches, right? So 16. Yeah. if you're going to say that about Cena, you got to say that about everybody else. Right. Like Hogan is the biggest one that everybody tried to say. Some His era is the era that Everybody could have been champion, and it's like, bro, I'm not watching that shit at the Brooklyn Brawl as the champion. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, like, I like Mr. Mr. Booger, the champion. I like Mr. Perfect. Rest in peace, Kurt Henning. But I don't think I'm watching wrestling the same way I'm watching it if he's the champion over Hogan. How uh, cool, the champion. Like, hey, like, like, I feel you. Let's think about that. Like, that come on. And to the people point that usually say that, look what happened when they did make the other person a champion, Ultimate Warrior. They just gave it right back to Hogan. He <laughs> dropped him jump because, yep, didn't want to play ball. I think to Jose Quavo's point, and then we've been doing a great job, Quavo. Like, we, we, even though we're not agreeing right now, we're not making fun of each other. We're saving that for, uh, no neck. Popeyes. No neck. <laughs> <laughs> a necklace. Oh, man. <laughs> that man got a chestless. That's what it's called. Because <laughs> <laughs> he put on a necklace. That's right. Just lay on his chest. He don't got no neck to put it around. Anyway. Sorry. Um, <laughs> no he goes swimming and just come right off. <laughs> <laughs> to me, when Cena lost, he lost to the right people at the time. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of people be like, Cena don't put people over, but 
out of everybody. He puts the right people over. Huh? He puts the right people over. I think he put people over regardless. I just think that it's certain people that he gets blamed for not putting over that certain people, other people did the same thing. Britt, people be giving Sean hell. Britt refused to put Sean over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he refused to put the man over. Yeah, uh, my Bert. Yeah, Bert, Bert. Oh, well, no, yeah, I, Bert. I, I, I got respect. I got respect. I got respect. Oh Bret my Hart. goodness, Bret Hart. Then you know what I'm saying. If, if other people that that Bret Hart said he didn't wasn't gonna put over, like you get to hear the history of this, you know, and you learn a lot about it. And it's like people say that John Cena don't put people over, but the man had the belt 14 times. What is he? What is he? 16 time champ or 15? Uh, I think 15. Has he reached 16 yet? I think no. no he, he, he is 16. He's trying to win it to beat Ric Flair's record. Okay, so yeah, gotcha. he's 15. So for him to win that bitch 16 times, he lost it. You know what I'm saying? So somebody mm -hmm. benefited from him losing it. Yeah. And he one got of those the times he did lose it to CM Punk. Huh? I said one of those times he did lose it to CM Punk. He lost it twice to CM Punk. There you go. And yeah, I mean, I just think like in his era, they were the most champions out of anybody else's era. Well, Arguably, you're 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 on the right track. I see where you're going with it. Nah, because maybe maybe Hogan's there, maybe close Hogan. Nah. But if you're gonna say like if we the big errors we give them Hogan, Stone Cold, which is the Attitude Era, and then you give Cena's Era, there were more champions in Cena's Era than I think than any of the other errors. You got yeah. ed got Edge, Batista. Batista. CM Undertaker. Punk. CM Punk, Undertaker. Orton. Rey Mysterio. Orton, multiple times. You got to remember, Orton told the L that bitch 14 times. Mm -hmm. uh, Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero. Mm -hmm. Brock Lesnar. Yeah. You know, and that Kurt Angle. Booker T. Booker yeah. T won it too, then. Nah, I'm we talking about the WWE. Nah, 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 he ain't win. He ain't win. Triple yeah. H. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... John Cena for, for people to say, you know what I'm saying, nobody really got over in his era. That's 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 just hate. You know what I'm saying? They just don't like him. But yeah. Yeah. I don't uh, think you should go through all the shows and just ask. Just, I'm gonna be honest. I'm looking at Quavo. I'm looking at I know my I'm I'm, I'm looking at this joint. Like there's only one more part that I want to talk about. That, uh, that's because it's raw. raw. Hold that's on. It's yeah, it's raw. raw. Three hours, dog. I, I finished <laughs> raw. I was like this, like fighting to stay awake. I'm like, I gotta get these notes for the show, and I'm glad we got visuals. So everybody uh -huh. can see. Me. I'm like, um, Drew's like almost coming down and you know struggling. Uh -huh. But um, dog, we got that's because there's about... only like 36 minutes of wrestling in that show, no, even though it's bro. three hours long. Bro, bro, it was all about Cody Rose, Cody Rose, Cody, Cody, Cody Rose. Cody, 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 it's Cody, it's Cody, Cody, it's Cody, it's Cody, it's Cody, it's Cody, 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 Okay, so Quavo's been hanging out with Jay Will a little bit too much. He don't know that the new way that we sing Cody's song is only one word, Cody. Cody, huh? you added other words. It's Cody. No, it's not. It's not. It's Cody. It's Cody. <laughs> Cody Rose, all it is is Cody. Cody Rose, that's it. All you say is his name. <laughs> and, and the other, the only other word is three words of this song: Cody, Cody Rose, and whoa, that's whoa. it. <laughs> Cody Rose, like when it, when Cody, the, Cody. The chorus comes up. This is, this is exactly Cody what we were trying to learn that Fozzie song. Yes, by Jericho, and we yes. didn't Cody, learn Cody, Cody, the lyrics. Cody, 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 Cody. Cody, 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 yes. Cody, 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 Cody. It's Cody, Cody, 
Cody, Cody, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. Had to be here. Cody, Cody <laughs> had to be here at WrestleMania the first time Marshall heard me sing that shit. He was laughing like shit. Like that's not. I'm not even looking at him like that's not how that shit go. And then he just. But it. But if you listen to it, it sounds like that's what it could be. <laughs> like it's <dog. laughs> Like what the that hell? was in my head. Hey, I came back the next night. When I come through the door singing, Cody, 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 <laughs> Cody, Cody, the whole night of two, whole night two, Cody didn't even come out night two, bro. I'm singing Cody. Oh, damn. He didn't even come out. It was awesome. That's it was great. That's great. I love it. But, uh, <laughs> Cody came out ruining Seth Appreciation Night, and um, uh, it was awesome. Just Cody coming out. Welcome home, Cody. Yep. Oh my God, Cody Rhodes, Cody Rhodes. Okay, so going on, yeah, Bianca was out there. Love you, Bianca. Welcome back, Oscar. I was ready for you. I love that you're back. I love it. Uh, Edge. That, that flick was amazing. Let's be honest. That flick was uh, freaking amazing, bro. You see her flick? Oh, yeah. Becky's nose. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> get Oscar, bro. Just you talking about last week? Put, you talking about last week? You put on. Yeah. This but week, Quay was always going back, man. No, it's, it's blended, you messed bro. Messed me up there, man. Bro, I don't know what the hell is going on with this show right now. Because Quay won't talk about man. last week. This week, she got smacked in the face with Bianca Bree. Oh, uh, Oscar. Yeah, y'all ain't see that? Nah, I missed that. Oh man, <laughs> I, I I was mad they ain't tag her in. I'm like, yo, all this time, come on, Bianca, you know you need to break tag her in. That's why he probably didn't tag her in. She probably had a concussion. <laughs> you ain't see that? And Bailey and Bailey tweeted her. Bailey tweeted her. She said, "You're horrible." <laughs> yeah, they was coming out to the ring. You know, Bianca be doing her little thing, right? Yeah, her little thing with her, her hair. Yeah, Bianca, uh, Oscar was. You know, they all walking next to each other. The joint go boom. <laughs> Try to whiplash the crap. Oh, I gotta I go rewatch that. that. I think I went to the kitchen. Yeah, oh. look, when they came back, like we saw none of their entrances. We only saw Becky's entrance, and then they went to commercial. And then when they came back, they was like walking to the ring. And I thought they were coming back from the kitchen. I, yeah, I missed it. I was coming back from the kitchen. I was like, oh, commercial. Yeah. And it's one of them times you gotta run around the corner. And I, I fucking missed it. She whacked the hell out of her in the face with that braid. Wow. Yeah. She about to be back on injury reserve. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that, man. Watch, what I, watch that. it. They ain't tagging in the match. What, why would they not? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't. Nobody said she got hurt, but I'm just saying, like, come on now. You watch. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? No, that you can tell it hurt because she got hit in the face and then she tried to block it. They better not hurt my boo. We no. gonna, we gonna have a problem. No. Um <clears throat> all right, so they be honest to cut that braid, watch. Oh Lord, it's coming. All right, so that was on Raw. SmackDown, I'm gonna run down SmackDown right quick. Uh SmackDown hasn't Zane, happened yet. Happy Corbin. Nobody cares about Happy Corbin. I think I'm tired of that game. I think we're all tired of the Happy Gimmick, John. We just want to see him and Madcap Moss wrestle and get it over with. I'm not. I'm not fond of Madcap kissing the trophy. I think that's disgusting. Uh, Cat Cardona. I would like to see more of Cat Cardona, even Ooh. though she got smashed. She went up against uh, Raquel Rodriguez on SmackDown. I'm watching AEW. Yeah, because she's not Gonzalez no more. She's Rodriguez now. Yeah, yeah, but Kat Cardona, shout out to Kat Cardona. She Wait, was, what? Uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, Kat Cardona. No, 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 I'm yeah. saying, what did she just say, Quavo? She's not what? She's not Gonzalez no more. She's Rodriguez now. Hold on, who now? Yeah. yeah. And she came to the main roster. Yeah, you know yeah. they change your name when you come to the main roster. Same way they did to, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Lil, but she... Lil Pete. Lil Pete, Pete Dudge, they changed him into yeah, Butch. Butch. Yeah, but at least he's a whole different person. Yeah. She the same well, person. Raquel smiles now. She smiles. When, yeah, when she, she smiles she smile now. NXT, she now she smile. smiles all the time. She smiles when yeah. she wrestles. She smiles when she hits you. 
She smiles when she's getting hit. <laughs> she, just, she just smiles. So what is her name now? Raquel Rodriguez. 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 Yeah, double, double R's. R and R. Shout out Rough Rodder. I guess. The, oh, there go Jade. Hey, Jade. And she, she got a new clip. Giggity goo. Giggity goo to Jade. I'm going to serenade to Jade. Hey, Jade. Jade. Oh, no. Giggity goo. <laughs> <laughs> I told y'all oh. I don't remember nothing from none of these programs, bro. Hey, I, I can start taking notes, man. You got the list. I got the notes. Um, I don't got the... I'm not about to say all the names tonight. That's why I'm just going over. Oh, SmackDown. Boom. New Day. Coming out against Sheamus. And uh, what's that dude that's with uh, Ridge Holland? And Butch. Okay, no, Butch is missing. No, they lost Butch. They can't right? find him right so now. Butch is, yeah, Butch is lost. And they put they got uh missing posters. Where's Butch? He's he's at my right, because out. he's looking for his they last all, they put they put they put missing posters in the same Seamus came was like, yo, check it out. I put missing posters <laughs> in the locker room, <laughs> in catering, in the parking lot, and backstage. Where did you put your uh posters at? Ridge was like, I put them in the parking lot. And catering in the <laughs> backstage. That segment was you funny. Them, you put them in the same spot. I put them in. So let's go out there, right? Yo, Kofi and Xavier come out and they rip Seamus a new one, bro. Like, they're like, Seamus, yo, you always hopping around tag teams. And Xavier's like, yeah, yo, you like, you like the old, old resident tag team thought. You like, like WWE's old resident thought. Just like out here thought in it. <laughs> he did though. He went in. He was like, he was "You're a for the tag team." Nations. He was like, "You were shaking oh. it for the Swiss man." And Kofi oh. was like, "Now you shaking it for these two booties out here who don't know no better. We just gonna call you shaking <laughs> Seamus." <laughs> uh, did the same thing to Randy Orton uh, back in the day. Oh, like, man. damn, Randy, how many how many groups have you been a part of? <laughs> was in uh, Evolution. Ooh. Then you had Legacy. <laughs> then you had the Rated R Connection. Then you had the Authority. Now you with such and such. And I was like, oh, man, that was funny. They, <laughs> yeah, they do that to people. Like, we've been together for eight years. Y'all can't keep it together for a month and a half. Oh, man. Y'all booty. So that, that, was, that was a good segment and probably like the sloppiest power bomb through a table I've ever seen from Ridge Holland. Lord have mercy. Uh, probably the sloppiest ever beat the clock challenge, but hey, it happened, so yeah. I mean, Butch um, is getting and, paid. Huh? Man, Butch is getting paid. Oh, yeah. Not to be on TV. So wait, so, this, so would that be another face uh, as far as women wrestlers for, uh, uh, for Aaliyah? Isn't she Ooh, yes. part of the, the on, SmackDown? Man. Stop, 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 stop. She's a face. He's trying. He's a, it's a reach, but I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say She's yes. a face. She went against Charlotte. She, she tried wrestled. It. it ain't her first match. It ain't her first match. And she stopped Charlotte from beating the clock. She has a win. She, technically. Look on the internet. Is she, is she, is she on the... <laughs> is she on the current Same. roster? For SmackDown, bro. Shoot, they they got Lacey on that roster. No, yeah, Lacey, trying to turn Lacey. her face too. Yeah, I was just about trying to say, turn that. her got face. Yeah, Maga Lacey. You, you okay? Yeah, got Sonya. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, Maga Lacey. You're right. See, see, we're not doing that Spot shit on. this season. We're not doing this shit this season, y'all. I'm letting you know right now. You notice how didn't when I brought up the heels on Raw. You notice who I didn't say? Nikki fucking Ash. Y'all better not bring up no goddamn Aaliyah to me. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't don't no. What about she's about to change her? No, she's about to change face. it up. Nikki Ash about to disappear now. Dude drop got her up under her wing. We ain't about to have no more Nikki Ash. She's ready to take things more serious now. So we about to get Nikki, I guess. You know they be changing name. They just dropped the, the whatever name they don't like, except for Seth Freak and Rollins. They just add names on the him. <clears throat> he just add names on the him. <laughs> <laughs> He just said the visionary, yeah. the revolutionary. <laughs> He's Triple H of this era. No bullshit. Triple H, oh, Triple H. He does have he does have that pedigree. 
Triple H with Hunter Harris Helmsley. Um, you know, the, the, king, the cerebral assassin. The, yeah, the, the uh, king of kings. King of kings. Good lord. The game. Yeah. Hunter. <laughs> and he's Paul. And All right, so next uh, up, we got AW. We got AW out there. Who AW? Because this is how we going down, down, down the list, y'all. We got the shows. Like I said, I watch Raw SmackDown. Uh, Hollywood, what you watching? I guess I got to watch Dark and uh, I watch all AEW products. All AEW NXT. products. NXT. NXT is a good show. What about you, Quavo? What are you watching? I, I, I watch about? NXT. NXT was good this week. Quavo's NXT watching Skip. He didn't ask you what, what, what you're doing this week. See, you got to listen to him. He said, I, I said, I'll do NXT because I saw NXT. How are you going to do that if I just yeah. say that, that I'm... Yeah, I, you, you said what? you're doing all AEW products. And, Lord have mercy. This man really did... We didn't have this conversation before we started recording. Why? Why, dog? I'm really trying to be better to my friends <laughs> this, this season, man. I thought we were just going to clown Jay one mm-hmm. day. And you just want to come on here and just do this. I keep telling you, bro. The people are eventually gonna like me because they're gonna see what I gotta deal with. <laughs> They'll be like, if or they're gonna, gonna like me more because if he can work with them, we might as well like his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Roman. You drew well, back in time. Eventually, That's what like, you are. Eventually, <laughs> like you. You, eventually eventually like you. you forcing this baby face shit this season. It ain't gonna work this season. I'm calling your bluff this season. <laughs> So he drew without the sword. He drew without the sword. The the sword. Seasons, I'll, man, I'll find the sword somewhere. For the two seasons, this man been the dumb blonde baby face. Nope, not this season. We ain't getting nope, 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 nope. You the brunette this year. Nope. <laughs> 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 Hell nah, bro. Oh, he gonna this. turn me into Heat Slater. If you want, oh, and, and listen, if you want, if you want me to, yeah, you want me to team up with Jay Will to get you every week. We just want to team up together to get Jay Will this week. But then you won't. Right. Well, what's he gonna watch? I don't know. He don't got cable. <laughs> <laughs> Can't watch it. That's why we taking all the stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, what are you oh going? Gosh. You gonna go to Popeyes? Oh, one of them Popeyes got a TV in it. And be like, hey man, can uh, you turn on TNT for me? <laughs> well, you know what. You're making an executive decision. We'll figure this out, that part out next week. Because oh, there's more of us. So we can split it up a little bit. But I doubt that he watches anything that we tell him to watch. He'll probably watch something that we... He's going to come... Okay, listen. This is what's going to happen this week. He's going to be like, yo, I watch WCW. Right. <laughs> right. 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 Like, what? He's going to watch some... He's going to watch some... <coughs> Like, yeah, we should make him watch AEW since he hated so much. Oh, man. <laughs> he ain't going to do this it. Review every week is called, man, I I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. Listen, this episode, we're going to finish whatever we got to finish because I don't know what else to talk about. But, hey, it's okay. We got time to kill. Next week episode, we're going to come back and we the, the roast we were going to suppose to do with Jay Will, since he'll be here, we're going to do it again. Well, I'm going to do it again. I don't care to speak for them. But I'm gonna roast him. Pretty much every week, you guys can get look forward to the roast of Jay Will. But <laughs> we're gonna decide next week what shows each one of us. Be sweating hard as fuck. Oh my god. We're gonna we're gonna decide next week which shows each one of us watch. I guarantee you, season three, you guys, you're gonna understand why I act the way I act on episode <laughs> three of season three. I promise y'all, because Jay Will. Probably Jose too are not gonna come in here prepared. And it's okay. <laughs> Me and Marsh are gonna hold the weight like we always do. You're wing it. You're gonna wing it. Hey. You know, this week no one told me that we were supposed to be watching nothing. So I didn't, I mean, I've watched it, but you know, I don't care about any of it. I couldn't tell you about anything. What I can tell you about is right now, um, hold on. Right now on AW. It's Ray Phoenix versus uh, Dwayne Martin. Dante. I, oh, he said Dwayne Martin. Got a brother that looks Dwayne. Dwayne, uh, Dwayne, Dwayne. Oh damn. Got a brother named Dwayne. It's two of them, ain't it? It is two uh, of them. Uh, speaking speaking about the cutter. Crazy. 
Yeah, you ain't about to make me the cutter. It is too old. Oh, about the cutter. Oh, yeah, I, I did catch AEW last week. I, I did see uh, what did I watch? AEW. It was Friday. I saw the Rampage? Hook Danhausen thing. Hook Housen. What is it? Dan Hook Housen. Oh Lord, they're trying to make it happen. That's why yeah, they're I'm trying. trying to get the damn show over because I don't want to trash the stuff I actually like. <laughs> 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 Not the first episode of the season. I, I do it the whole rest of the season. I trash everything, but. I, I, not, I was not, not, not the first season. Yeah, season man. Three. You know what I'm saying? For the first, this might be people's what? first first time ever listening to the show. Oh, wow. this is their first time definitely watching us. So mm-hmm. I didn't want people. To, I didn't want to come on. Why did you mention Hookhausen, bro? <laughs> it had to be done. It's a unnecessary, unevil. Hey, it just can't. It just can't. He didn't want to get the curse. It's unnecessary. He didn't want to get the curse. No, I don't want it. That don't work no more. I'm okay. Okay, you like Dan Housen, yes. What? You like Dan Housen? Yes? I'm the one that put y'all on the Dan Housen. No, exactly. Exactly. Okay, like, so okay. yes. Hold on, hold on. Why would you, 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 you have to do that? Why would you have to do that? Hold on, hold on. I'm making easy for you. I'm making he wanted, easy for you. He wants to be the give him credit for making easy for you, bro. I'm making it easy for you. No, you're not. Scott Steiner, Beth. You like Hook? Scott Steiner, Beth. Nah, nah. You know what we're gonna do? I'm about to be. We're gonna leave it at that. Okay. So moving on. Let me finish. So moving on. Let me finish. Because I'm about to blow your mind. This year, this this season, because you don't want to give me credit. You see how I went, oh, you better give me my credit for Dewdrop. But when we talk about you bring up Dan Housen, you didn't say, oh, Mike put us on to Dan Housen. Do you like Dan Housen? You know that I like Dan Housen. Tell the people that. I put the world on the Dan Housen. It was me and Dan Housen that got Dan Housen out. <laughs> <laughs> facts. All facts. It was me and Dan Housen. Me and Dan Housen. Shooting in the gym. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm multi man T housing. Hey, <laughs> hey, no all facts. Give him all the little monies off for that. All He's the money. All oh, the money. I came on no bull. I came on the following oh, week and made a public service announcement that oh, Hollywood pre on the Dan House and everybody, hey, on Hollywood's recommendation, check out Dan Housing. So yeah, he gets all the little monies for that. Okay, now, yes, I do like Hook. So we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna no, I don't, they don't leave it at that. That shit's stupid. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> Them two should have been the furthest apart ever. Why? You messed up this young man already, man. How am I supposed to take his small ass to be the world champion now? He barely bigger than Dan Housen. <laughs> Yo. The man he did suplex the shit out of that Bama, though. He the man the hook, the hook mugs people. Hook looks like a badass. Two weeks straight, this man, this man is he's, he's making yeah. it rain in the strip clubs, y'all. He, he in the strip, he in the strip club making it rain. This dude is a tough, hard nosed SOB. Huh? It's hard, a tough SOB. SOB, right. There you go, Quavo. Gotcha, gotcha. The man crushed his chips twice and he ain't do nothing yet. Nothing. Come on, man. And I know people out there like, it's just chips. All right, let somebody, you, you walk back to your, to your office and you the first thing you see and you see somebody uh, stomping on your food. Your first instinct, especially if you was a badass, you're going to whoop that, man, you're going to whoop that trick. <laughs> Ain't no dang one says Dan Housen out here playing with that man. You should keep Dan Housen. Listen, Tony Khan, you never listened to the show, even though there was a Tony Khan that came and listened to the show one time, but they I don't listen. know if that was the real Tony Khan. They listen. That was that was the real Tony Khan. It had to be. They listen. He listened to all the all of them. He, he listened heard to everything. It. He you know what? It was verified on on YouTube too. So I don't know if that was the real Tony Khan or not, but it was somebody that was acting like they were Tony Khan. Tony, if you ever listen to us again, I'm probably sure you're not. We killed you that day. So I'm pretty sure you never listen to us again. But if you hear me right now, I never want to see Dan Housen wrestle. Ever. Keep him backstage. Have him do this funny bits and whatever. If you're going to put him in a match, give him Orange Cassidy, bro. Yeah, or Marco Stunt. Well, he's not, there. not there anymore. Oh, keep up, true, man. Damn. Keep up. That's true. Damn. No, no more stunting. 
Give us somebody that one of them goofs, like the librarian, the one of the ones that you had yeah. in the early beginning of, of AEW. Shoot, Brian Cage, if for all I care. Give us somebody that you really we know that you don't care about. We know or you Santana or Ortiz. Huh? Somebody. Mm. You can put them against Ortiz. I don't know about Santana or Ortiz. They kind of they always been kind of in serious storyline. Yeah, they just beat Jer- Chris Jericho. They in they in a little feud with Jericho right now. Yeah. So they I just seen them just maybe uh, Johnny Silver. Nah, he's too serious. Nah, well, nah. he's only he's silly. He's silly, really, only on being an elite, though. Okay. So, well, nah, I wouldn't have Dan Housen fight him. Because then, if you do want to push John Silver, I can't. Bro, you've never seen John Cena fight the boogeyman. <laughs> you never would. Never seen Hulk Hogan go against Bash and Booger. Stone Cold wasn't fighting Doink the Clown for the belt. I was just about to say Undertaker wasn't fighting Doink the Clown. <laughs> never. I never seen them in the same ring together. Triple H, never. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's certain people for certain people. You know? Yeah. Oh, good to see you, Thunder Rosa. I ain't seen you. You bad. I ain't seen you since you had the belt. She's making noise online. I think yeah, she's trying to come out with OnlyFans or something. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Oh, no. She shouldn't. She really shouldn't. Oh, I, yeah. Oh, I'm not going to say nothing. Women are allowed to do whatever they want with their body. So, at the end Jordan of- Grace got one. Shout out to Jordan Grace. So does Tony Storm. Yeah, Tony mm-hmm. Storm has one too. A lot so of them does, got that. A lot of them so got So does, what's her name? Selena yeah. Vega, but Selena yeah. Vega says that she don't get nude or nothing on hers. Yeah. Well, at least I ain't never. I actually, yeah. I wouldn't know because I'm not. I so wouldn't bad. know either. Yeah, I don't know. If, I didn't know if anyone. Did. Well, I'm just off of Jordan Grace's Instagram and tweets. I would say that yeah, you probably get some nude jumps for her OnlyFans. I'm just assuming. I I haven't subscribed or bought or anything, so I'm just assuming. Uh, Nia Jax, she has an OnlyFans as well. Oh, she got her own joint. Yeah, when she, she needs something after being released, you know what I'm saying? So, nah, she needs to be yeah. quiet. She's a MAGA. That's not going to happen. Uh, she's a MAGA, so. She's mad. She's a mad MAGA. Yeah, she hates She hates the, she hate the Samoan dynasty. She hates WWE. <laughs> she's like, fuck the bloodline. Fuck yeah. the rock. Yeah. Fuck Rikishi. Yeah. <laughs> the, whole, the fans, the whole WWE. She For hates Hawaii. <laughs> Anytime somebody get released, she got something to say. Right. Like this they got released for budget cuts. You got released because you suck. <laughs> Two different things, uh, uh Naya. Oh. Quote end quote. Yeah, she got cut because she sucked. She didn't get and she was hurting everybody. There was a list there on Twitter they put of her, the people that she's hurt, and the dates. She, did she make a damn? Did she make a joke about hurting somebody? Yeah, she made. Dog, oh, she's she's not a good person. Like I can see, like at first, I kind of felt bad for her because she was so much bigger than all the other females. It was kind of hard to work with her. And then I saw Nyla Rose in AEW, mm-hmm. and I said. Oh, she's not trying to help them, which is Nia Jax. Mm-hmm. Because even Riho and AEW look like a threat to freaking Nia Jax. I mean, uh, uh, Nyla Rose. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It just seemed like every time we saw Nia Jax, she was going into business for herself. And mm-hmm. the only time she really wasn't was when she was with Shayna Baszler. And Shayna Baszler could really whoop her. So, you know, she kind of was, you know, that was her bet. To me, that was kind of like the best of her when she was with Shayna Baszler. Mm-hmm. After they got rid of Reggie, you remember when they was messing with Reggie first came? Yeah. Yeah, and Reggie was her like her boo and he was playing with her. That part was stupid. But other than that, right. when her and Donald Jax had that tag team, they had a mean tag team. It was a good tag team. Yeah. Both of them. But you could tell that Shayna Baszler was liked behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. People like her. Nala Rose, nah. Nia Jax, I mean, Nia Jax, nah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like that. That when she uh, punched Becky in the nose, I was like, 
Damn, like, okay, you knew you weren't supposed to do all like all that. You know what I'm saying? That was the one that was lucky that it worked for WWE, though. Because that's mm -hmm. what made Becky. Yep, exactly. So it worked out, but if, if Becky, I mean, that was horrible for Becky, really, in reality. It was horrible mm -hmm. for the WWE because they don't even like blood. Right. So it was hard. It was a horrible situation, and they just got lucky that it worked. Mm -hmm. That was really like the first time we ever seen a woman in WWE bleed like that. Yeah, first time. So and then after I think I think I think they made Charlotte bleed to the, the next pay per view or the next pay per view after, just I I think to like blend it, you know what I'm saying? So it wouldn't be like oh, or whatever, you know what I mean? Make it look a certain kind of way, whatever. Yeah. So. Yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. But we definitely ain't gonna see no kind of uh, shit like that. You know, it's AEW now. Now, shit, we might see all oh, that AEW. You know what I'm saying? Because they go crazy over that jump. Like, oh, we definitely, we definitely about to see a woman fight a man in AEW at some point. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's coming before the year is out. Did y'all see? Did y'all see? Uh, Penta, 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 whatever his name is, Penta. Cero Miedo. Yeah. No. Y'all see him super kick Tay Conti? No. At Triple A Mania? Recently. No. Like really? on Saturday. <laughs> I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, of course I they're not gonna do that. it. On, they're not gonna do it on American TV, but oh no, nah. oh, nah. yeah, oh, they, they, yeah, he super kicked her. Um like, like it wasn't I, one of them accidental, like somebody pushed her in the way. No, he super kicked mm. her. Yeah. Dang. You know what? I'm starting to see uh, a lot of intergender uh, wrestling matches. Uh, you know me, I like I like looking up my prospects, whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's this one prospect I've been checking out. Uh, her name's The Woe. Shout out to The Woe. Um, and she's a female, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't get her name on the top, top of my head. It's like Weapon of Ass Destruction. It's like what like the Woe stands for. I know you're talking about. You know what I'm talking about? She wears the eye patch. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And wrestles with her butt, man. Super sexy, super cute. You know what I'm saying? But she wrestled, I believe, I don't know if she wrestled James Ellsworth, but I know James Ellsworth was at a show that she did, and she wrestles men. Speaking like, of John, a lot of her good. matches are wrestling men, and a lot of women that's in that promotion or wherever they wrestle that. And she's actually a champion. She has a belt. Well, Triple A. A lot of them wrestle men. Triple a, has, Triple a has a mixed... Uh, a mixed tag team championship. That's all I was about to say next. Tay Conti and Sammy Guerrero won their belts. Oh, shit. Sure. Yeah, they have a mixed tag team uh, division. And speaking of Quavo. Speaking of Johnny Phil. I'm so yeah, scared about John what they're going to do with those. Johnny guys. Silver. We were, Johnny talking, Silver. we were just talking about who they're going to do with next. See, this was the, this was, wow. you know what? This is what I mean, bro. This is the type of stuff I mean by AW. Guess who Johnny Silver's fighting next week, Marshall? Who? Yes. Seen a punk? Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? Like, why? Because, cause, look, look Feed this me is more. CM Punk. Check it out, right? This is CM Punk, right? This is the Mortal Kombat level, and CM Punk has to keep <laughs> on fighting up those levels until he gets to the AEW title. You know what I mean? Oh, Until he gets to uh, Hangman. Hangman, Why? Hangman's still champion, right? Why? They made the match. He's got to fight. He's got to fight all of Hangman's minions. They made the match before, before the before the showdown. What, CM Punk and Hangman. Yeah, it's at double or nothing for the belt. Oh, he needs another training match. He got to get. You know what I'm saying? He got to stay. Man, fresh. I'm not trying to hear that, man. This man been on. TV. <laughs> this man is damn. He's on TV more than he he wrestled more than Roman. By far, it ain't even close. I don't need to see him wrestle these these dudes. You're not helping them. Yeah. You know? He, he wrestles just about as much as Daniel Bryan does. And Daniel Bryan wrestles just about every week, if not twice a week. They think they're helping these young guys out, and they're really not. Mm -hmm. Their ratings are – he acting like people watching the show to, ooh, CM Punk versus John. That's boring now. That's, that's over and done with, bro. You, you've been there almost a year now. Nobody give a damn about you wrestling him. My TV's not even on. I'm mad I'm not watching the playoffs right now. Um, I don't know. Who's this, <laughs> Wait, well, who's this girl? Oh, this is, what's her name? What's her face? They both got belts. Perrazzo. 
Peraza and, and uh, Mercedes. But I'm confused. They both got They're belts. They're both ROH, the previous ROH champions. Oh, but they're What's fighting over on? the belts. I don't know why. I think they, like... What the hell is Tony Khan doing? This so, stupid, yeah, that's going to be my I'm question. Confused. So, so, Quavo. Yeah. Ring of Honor question. Uh-huh. What's going on with Ring of Honor since it's been acquired with AEW? He don't know. Because we don't know. Well, Tony don't, uh, don't know. No. He don't, yeah. <laughs> Tony don't know what he's doing with it, bro. He don't. He, what I have mean, you I feel like you I, I look at it this way. From what I've mm-hmm. seen for uh, seen so far, this is just Tony Khan. Um, now that he has acquired everything in the wrestling universe, uh, just putting WWE everything WWE. on the on the TV, putting every every card, playing every card and book as possible, without rhythm, without rhyme or reason. He's gonna put it on there, bro. Man, like you got, he don't know what the hell he doing, Playbo. I will say this though, that Joe match was good. The, last week, the, the Samoa, Samoa Joe, Joe match was. Who did he go again? That match was good. Uh, I can't remember. Who? It was last week. It was Samoa Joe. He went against somebody last week, which um, was really good. It was uh, it was a New Japan guy. I'm trying to remember his name. Talking about my man uh, with the haircut. The old think guy so, with the haircut. Probably. Yeah, I'm trying to remember That's his my name. My man right there. Yeah, I can't uh, remember his man. He he vicious with it. You could chop him all day. He'll eat them joints and come and fuck but, you up. Hard, but hard, see, hard. that's another thing. You had that. Yeah, but he never wins. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I mean, true. Hey, some, some wrestlers don't want to win. Listen, man. <laughs> Who was that that went Owen and in, in forever? Who was that? Uh, The dude from uh, Curtis Hawkins. There you go. Yeah. Owen, 150. You think he wanted to do that? No. That's why he left. Uh, yeah. No, but yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they're doing with him. the ROH acquisition. I feel like they don't got any real reason to have them on. There. It's just they got too many people. They got way too many people, bro. And AEW alone, they don't. That's, that's yeah, the best they don't need ROH. They don't need, and then what? that that combo with New Japan coming into the equation, that's mm-hmm. gonna. I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know what they're gonna do, bro. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff Hollywood. to make no sense. In Hollywood. Yes. I, I acknowledge you, bro. You want to know why? Because you said this shit was going to happen. They're going to get too bro. many people. They're not going to know what to do with him. You think he's a good booker. He's not. They we got a whole bunch person. of stuff that don't make any sense. You think they think that he's a good person. That's their selling point, that he's a good person. And that shit doesn't always equate with business. Sometimes you have to be the one that people don't like because you have to make the decisions that people might not like. Just like we were talking about with Vince, with WWE, we think there's a lot of people that should have been champion. Well, Vince McMahon is the boss. He doesn't agree with us. And if he did agree with us, it could cost us, cost us his business. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people that think that when, that, when, the, when the Montreal screw job happened, that Brett should have stayed the champion. And if, if if one of them had to go, Brett or Sean had to go, then it should have been Sean. Maybe they might be right if they thinking about it from a moral standpoint. Mm-hmm. Sean was a, you know, he was a dickhead. From a business standpoint, there wouldn't have been no DX. Which was, which got them back into the Monday Night Raw, Raw Wars. I don't want to see Bret Hart versus Mankind. Bret Hart wouldn't have thrown Mankind off the cage. He wouldn't have did that type of stuff. He didn't fit yeah. into no. the Attitude Era. Yeah. Right. So He would have tried to sharpshooter him on top of the cage. With Tony Khan, he's somebody that's had money all of his life. And he's probably had friends, but he's probably had friends because he's had money. Mm. And mm. because he got with these wrestling dudes, he let them sell him on what they knew about wrestling. And they ain't never been in the big times other than Cody. Mm-hmm. Who tried to give all his expertise. Whose father was what? A big time booker, yes. One of the best, they say yes. I mean, he 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 made some mistakes too. But at the He's same time. Though. That's how you learn though. Yeah, but uh, some of his mistakes were, were to the detriment of WCW. Um, so I ain't about how you learn. 
some people just have different roles that they should be they should be at. His best role was when he was a coach for NXT. Because when he was the coach of NXT, we got most of their superstars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Bianca. everybody's role ain't to be in charge of something. And that's what people don't mm-hmm. understand. Everybody can't be a boss. Everybody, mm-hmm. it, it, people think that because every, you know, if I, if I even have more money or I might have more education than you, I should be a boss. That's not how it works. You could be, I don't want to say it like that, but you could be a bum on the street and you might know more than a millionaire Mm -hmm. because you have those experiences. He came in it with people that didn't have those experiences. And there was only one person that had that experience, which was Cody, and now he's gone. So more power to him, but I don't think AEW will ever go out of business. That's one thing I will say. But I don't see them on TNN, T, T, TNT the whole time that they're in existence. I just don't see it. I think mm-hmm. TNT is going to get tired of it and they're going to do like they did the last time. Like WC, part of WCW breaking up wasn't just the booking. That People people give Bischoff a hard time about it. That's not why WCW went out of business. It went out of business because Turner and AOL merged. And mm-hmm. Warner didn't want wrestling. <laughs> it had he didn't want it no more. He was tired of it. They didn't want it when they, it was the hottest. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When they was he pulling, just wanted to put Vince out of business. That was like his main goal. That, look, that's why he called Vince. I'm in the wrestling business now. Yeah, but that's what, that's what I'm saying. When that merged, that's Turner. They merged to Warner because it's called Turner Warner. Once mm-hmm. they merged. The people that didn't on the Turner side that didn't want wrestling, now they have they have more people on the Warner side that don't want the wrestling, so it's gone. Right. When it was just Turner, it was just you know what I'm saying a few people here and there that didn't want the wrestling. When it got the Turner Warner, you got one half of the equation. You got the majority. Yeah, you got right. the majority. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus you got the no one. one. So yeah. people blame Eric Bischoff. But at the same time, if they didn't, if, if if they had the same people that Eric Bischoff had when they was at the highest, mm-hmm. and yeah, so I mean, it's not only at that time, Jericho it was like one of the only people that left. Eddie Guerrero left, but he wasn't as big as what he was. He was right when he became Chris Benoit. Same thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying so. ECW went out of business. That's Something that's right, totally different. Totally different. They didn't have the money, so they had to cut right. shut down doors. Right. But WCW just was that was somebody that was that was the president's call or whoever the the, the board of directors call. Right. You know? And I think that's 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 the sector I feel that AEW is going to basically be in and remain in. You know what I mean? Like. You're you're going to be at this tier until you go to WWE. Then you'll be at this tier. You know what I'm saying? Like you'll never be at this tier at AEW. For example, Jade. Jade would never get to here at AEW. I believe she's going to be very successful. She's going to be she's successful now. But I believe once she goes, if she does go, even though you know since she had a chance to go and she turned it down. I believe she would be able to have that star power like a Bianca Belair, like a Becky Lynch. You know what I mean? That continued stardom that Ronda Rousey is having. Yeah, I, I think that's that's. I think that's 50-50. Because I think wrestling, at, I, I think during the pandemic, you're 100% right. But I think people like AJ Styles proved that that's not true. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that AEW's booking would determine that. Like, for example, Hangman probably couldn't go to WWE and, be, and not and be anything right now because the way they booked him. Mm-hmm. Ain't his fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jungle Boy, same thing. Jungle Boy at one point in time couldn't win the WWE, been a complete star. And it might not be too late for him, but right now, if he went to WWE, like today, he wouldn't be nobody because the way they booked him. Same thing, even I hate to say this, 
but I'm going to say it. Marco Stunt. There was a place for him in AEW. However, they used him like a freaking goofy gimmick. He could have been Spike Dudley. Ooh, nice. I can see that. But they made him freaking, they had him out there fighting at negative one. A kid. A kid. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, but didn't he get beat by negative one? No, they never fought. He pushed him. Oh. They never fought. So that's what I mean. Bro. That's what I mean. I think I get over my knee. I think for someone like Jay, to your point, I mm-hmm. think Jay made the right decision by going to AEW first. Mm-hmm. Because if it didn't, the way as green as she was when she first started, I don't think WWE would have gave her that patience. Mm-hmm. I don't think they would have gave her the push that they gave her either. But I think that there's people like, for example, Britt Baker's a star. AEW made her a star. Mm-hmm. If she goes over to WWE, she's just going to be a star, but she's going to be, a, she she was made a star in AEW. I think mm-hmm. they can make stars. They just don't know how to do it. That's just my personal opinion. I think they can make people. I think AEW is never going to be on WWE's level as far as, they, I mean, WWE has a 60-year head start. Right. But I think at one point they had the momentum, especially when they was beating NXT, that they could have made stars, but they focused on all the people that, you know what I'm saying, that people already kind of already knew. Mm-hmm. Like when they could have made Hangman the champion, which they should have did, he should have been the first champion ever. They focused on, on Jericho. Mm-hmm. And they could have had him beat Jericho, but then they gave it to Moxley. Mm-hmm. And then... Kenny Omega, who was the, the the number one wrestler, voted number one wrestler multiple years, they made him a champion. He didn't need it at the time. Mm. But, you know, it is what it is. Mm. I, I think Tony Khan is going to be the fault of that company. I don't think the wrestler's yeah. the talent is going is to be the fault. I think that because Tony Khan don't know, he never had anybody in his life to tell him no. You can tell he's spoiled, dog. Anytime somebody's dad says, hey, bro, I'm about to die soon, go ahead and spend this money up. And Denny, what do you do? Cut the check. Yeah, like. <laughs> have fun. And I ain't saying I would have done it. I'm not saying in, in a pressure situation, I would have done any better. But, I mean, come on now. Like, John Silver versus CM Punk should not be happening. <laughs> not be happening. I'm not watching it. I'm looking forward to WrestleMania Backlash. That's what I'm looking forward to. Shit. Uh, you like the only one. Hey, you say I'm like the only one? I'm not looking I'm forward. not the only one. I'm, uh, I'm not looking forward to it, but hey. Hey, man. I'm going to see the top of Chiefs. I'm looking man. forward to the RK Bro match. That's yeah, that's it. what I'm looking forward to. That's the only joke. I'm looking forward to because uh hold on I got the list of the matches. Oh, I'm looking forward to Cody and Seth part two. Uh, so you got AJ and Edge, no Damian Priest and and, and Edge was corner because AJ had to save from uh, Finn. Cody versus Seth, Charlotte versus Ronda. Now that's gonna be interesting. Charlotte versus Ronda and I quit match. That might be interesting. Bobby Lassie versus Omos. Madcap Moss versus Happy. Corbin. I was about to say Happy Gilmore. Uh, and the six-man tag match, Drew McIntyre and RK Bro versus the ones. The Bloodline, Roman Reigns, and the Usos. Oh, it's not a bad card, bro. I'm not looking for none of that shit. It's not a bad card. Oh! Uh, oh I feel like it, it sounds like a card that you could easily foot into a Raw episode. Sound like a car we already heard seen before. Yeah. Which half the matches we've seen before. We have. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah that's Cody why that, that repeat Cody Road match, I don't I'm not looking forward to it. That's that I think you're trying to you're trying to capture lightning in a bottle again. Stuff. I'm sorry. It's not gonna it's not gonna have the same pop. It's just not well if if Cody wins this time, that means the feud is over with him and Seth. No, it doesn't. That's no. Nah. No, Seth, he's you know, Seth, Seth freaking Seth Rollins. Is, Come on now. I was about to say, yeah, everyone. I was waiting for somebody to say that. Yeah, Seth, get to lose, to say that. Seth be losing <laughs> six times to Bama's. Like, 
and still be good. Hey, Seth, Seth, on that real nigga shit, bro. Part of my friends, dog, because he's like, yo, I don't care if you beat me. You see me tomorrow, I'm gonna fight you tomorrow. If you beat me tomorrow, I'm gonna see you the next day, and we're gonna fight again. Not Roman. Hey, I'm gonna fight you until I beat you, dog. Not Roman. <laughs> they gave him one uh, shot, with Roman. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at, hold up, hold up. He, he did better than Shinsuke. Shinsuke still ain't had his fight against Roman yet. Shinsuke's hurt, I believe. He got hurt that quick. He, bro, some people in he WWE. Just got jumped by the Usos a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> some people in WWE just be, I think they just like, like being on the ends of reserve. Because they get paid for not being there. I don't think Shinsuke, I don't, I don't ever think they're going to ever release Shinsuke. You know why? Why is that? Because Shinsuke is one of the only people that they know, that we all know, they give him bullshit every week, and he's to still go out there and do it. And he don't never complain. Like, you don't never see no articles about Shinsuke saying he's unhappy with WWE. And we know damn well he should be un he should be unhappy with them. But he got enough money to go surfing. He has to. <laughs> <laughs> he like going surfing. That's all he like to do. Like, bro, that man ain't never going back to Japan. He got his money. It was gone. That's why they call him Uncle Shinsuke. <laughs> That's, see, they cut the check. He was out. He bought him a new surfboard, bought him a nice old house right there on the beachfront, and he out. He five thousand. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Shinsuke Nakamura got about seventeen joints, seventeen <laughs> bowls. He got like thirteen. Seventeen boogie surfboards. Oh, yeah. Lord. He got about thirteen boogie boards. Thirteen boogie boards. <laughs> How many parasails he's got? How many parasails he's got? He don't look like the parasailing type of dude to me. I ain't got no parasailing. <laughs> yeah, he look like oh, the surfer. He's got jet skis. Oh, I think he's got man. a jet ski. He probably rent the He probably rent the. He probably, he the probably got them for his kids. His kids yeah. got jet skis. <laughs> right. He like the ride. He look like he like the ride the rave. Like he be doing all that. And all that. <laughs> he do all that on. He be doing all that on. on <laughs> what he be surfing? And then the little, that's the wipeout. That's the wipeout when he fall back and shit. That's the wipeout. <laughs> he be on the boogie board like this. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I'm so glad we got visuals now. <laughs> I feel like we're funnier with the visuals. Yeah. <laughs> I, hey, love man. I love it. I love it. You be having oh, man. The, now he was. I was about to say something real stupid because that would be dumb. I was about to say he be he has an ear uh, pods in his ear, but if you surf with some ear pods, you're you just you you're dumb. Oh man, yeah, you got stupid money. But then again, I don't have ear pod ear pods, so I'm not that rich to get them. Because then they come with like one of the iPhones, and then after that, you got to buy them separately, or you got to buy them separately yeah. the whole time. You got to buy them separately. You got to buy them separately. Oh yeah, see, I'm that. That's how yeah. poor I am. I don't even know how where, where you get them from. Yeah, but I see him wearing shockwaves. I see him wearing shockwaves. I mean, they will get knocked the, off. Those the ones that come on the outside of your ear. They don't go inside your ear. They go on the outside and like connect to you. Like they've. Give I mean, that's sound off the them. vibration. Yeah, but if you fall into the water, then you're going to get electrocuted or something going to happen to nah, you. They, nah, they're waterproof. Nah, nah I mean, they're, I they're water that, resistant. Bro. I don't trust water, water resistant. You're right. Yeah, water they, resistant. Yeah, I'm about to say, they, they probably water resistant. They probably, see, a lot of things that they're they, not ocean resistant. They know they cool. They're not ocean. Yeah, you're right. You're right. For the shower. That's what I'm about to say. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I'm not about to wear my beats if I go to Florida and then I go to the to the ocean and stuff like that. Yeah. No, I'm not about to do that stuff. I mean, I'm not even gonna go to the pool with my drones. If I hop in the shower, yeah. Hey, matter of fact, since I'm talking about these drones, beats, cut the cut check. The check. <laughs> I, I got something, I got something else. Hey, and Sony, cut the check. I got, there we go. I got some place else that can cut us the check. So nowadays, they don't tell you stuff like they used to. Like back in the day, you buy a microwave, that motherfucker say, don't, don't put aluminum foil in it. It tells you yeah. on somewhere on the microwave, don't put aluminum foil on it in the microwave. Now, I'm not saying I put aluminum foil in the microwave. I'm just using that as an example, people. Follow me. Now, I got the little, you know, the little shaver, the little head shaver. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'm going to get it. Matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> okay. One up to the visuals. One, another hey. one of pros to the visuals. Right. We, see, hey. we get to see him in, in, in real time. Who else, get his, cut the check? His, who else is going to uh, cut the check? We're going to have so many sponsors. Co- the like real co- season three. This? No, this is the... Uh, hey, I know. I've I seen that, Joan. Pitbull. This yeah, is the Pitbull go. So... Yeah. Okay. This is my second one, y'all. It tells you... What happened in the first one? It tells you it's water resistant. Mm-hmm. However, you ain't just going to be just in the shower just with this joint. Oh, no. Well... <laughs> he was in the shower. <laughs> Remember, yeah, at one point in time, y'all... The people don't know, but y'all know. My hair used to be bald all the time. You have got the Michael Jordan going on. Guys, you nice shine. Fun. Every time I got in the shower, morning, night. <laughs> Man, one day this joint just kept going. The buttons weren't working. I look on the instructions and say. You can get it wet, pretty much. It, the, well, what I read from the instructions was, you can get it wet, bro, but just don't, like, be in the shower and all willy-nilly with it. Like, don't be in the, like, don't go in the pool with it. Don't go anywhere where there's a lot of water consistently hitting this. That's what I read. Right. And I was like, oh, damn it. I was about to hit him up for my warranty. Like, hold up, cuz. Y'all told me if it don't work, then I can get my money back or I can get another one. So I'm about to hit them. I'm all pissed. That was the first question that we're going to throw you. Did you use this in the shower? Yep. I'm sitting yep. there. You said that with confidence, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm supposed to. You're right. <laughs> um, I'm, oh I'm, I'm typing my email up, you know, all mad. You're like, man, I can't even shave now. Now, mind you, I have razors in there as well. But I hate using razors because if you nick yourself, anyone that's ever shaved, you know. If you nick, nicking yourself on your face, don't hurt that bad. Nicking yourself on the head, you can't take showers or nothing. Because if you do, man, well, I, t- of course, can continue to take showers. I'm a soldier, so I fought through it. But, man, I was in pain, and I said to never again after the last time I nicked myself, that's why I bought this. This don't You don't ever nick yourself with this, which is a great investment. Pitbull gold. If you out there listening to us, cut a check because this is a cut matter of fact. Because he needs another one because the first one broke. No, this one works. See? For now. No, I'm not going to use it in the I haven't used it in the while. <laughs> As you can see on my sides, I haven't used it, period, in like a month or so. <laughs> <laughs> but Pitbull go. The, see, I'm trying to get us a check, you fool. <laughs> hey, I'm with you, baby. Come on. Come with it. Quavo, fuck it up. Shut up, Quavo. Go ahead, go ahead. Just throw the pitch. Pitbull go. I'm sorry. You said give us the pitch. <laughs> I'm about to give a Pitbull go promo. Cut the check. Hey, listen, people. After I give this promo, we gotta get. We're gonna go to the the, the, the and we're gonna go to the end of the show somehow. But I don't know yet how we're gonna get there. But Pitbull go. Listen. A lot of wrestler fans are. Are bald. There's a lot of wrestling because there. of Stone Cold. Because of Stone Cold. Hey, Kurt Angle too. He's bald. I'm Rick yes, Shane. yes, Kurt Angle. People out there, this is the Olympic. This is the Olympic gold medal of shaving. All the people out there, if you need a bald head and you need it quick. You don't want the nicks on, and bumps on your head. You want a smooth shave that your girl can rub your head and you feel real good. And she don't feel no little tick, 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 tick. It's just smooth like a baby bottom. It's smooth like, like Jada Pickett hair. <laughs> Chris, we haven't been here. Just to let you know, that's how you tell a joke. You tell the joke when no one's there. Not when they in your face, you fool. Anyway, if you want your hair to look like Jada Pickett, 
or Tim Moore from G.I. Jane. <laughs> or, or The Rock. Or any of those other bald people. Bruce Willis. Get you there. Oh. See, when I don't look like, when I don't wear the, and if I don't use this, it says nobody else really has to see me. I got the Tory Lanes going on. <laughs> they never make fun of me because of my hair because I, I, I never have it. <gasps> now, this weekend, I'm going to use this Pitbull Gold shaver that's by Pitbull. People, I'm telling you, mm. 40, best $39.99. Well, okay, well, I got it for $39.99. I don't know how much Pitbull, <laughs> I don't know how much Pitbull is selling it for, but it's a reasonable price. I've had two of them now. Just put it on your head. They give you a promo code. We ain't going to talk about the first one. Prom, promo code Four Corners. Yeah. It probably wow. ain't going to work, but. <laughs> it's enough. If hey, enough of you if it try don't it, work, make sure y'all hit us in the comment section. Let us know that you tried that shit and it don't work. Yeah. Put that in the comment section. If, if enough of you try it, they may give us a promo code. But just go ahead and just do it anyway. And they'll cut the check. Look, we're trying to get little monies over here. Help us get little monies over here. So, and you just go, and just go like that. And it cuts everything off. Now, I'm not going to show y'all because my hair is too thick. And I don't want to make give a bad review. Cause that would be messed up if I did it and the next thing you know it don't even work. Like none of my hair comes. Bad demonstration. So to eat. Trust me, Pitbull Go. They also have the Pitbull Silver. They got the Pitbull Mini. They got the Pitbull Nose. For the ladies, for ladies, Pitbull Mini. You know, what no, not, you ain't just gotta shave your head. I, oh wink, well. Wink. I I never shaved down there with this, so yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it does that. But if it gets us a check. You can shave your chest hairs, man. <laughs> you can shave your back hairs. <laughs> all that. Y'all women know, I know we got women fans out Under there. Under the armpits. Hey, listen, let me tell you. Better than a shake. Get that pit bull gold. If you don't want to be hairy, if you don't want to be hairy, don't be scary. Get the pit bull gold. You could go from Albert to Randy Orton. Yes, like oh, that. Anyway, moving on, y'all. We about to end this shit, but the, before we hey, before we end it, we are yes. gonna talk about the wrestlers list. Mike, hey Hollywood, hit him with the wrestlers list, right? Yes, man. Let them know we're so, gonna go with the wrestlers list. So it took a long time. Everybody gave me their list of the, the except Colin, who ironically not currently active on the show, but everybody else gave me the list at the exact last minute. You know how they do. Anyway, I tell you by the end of the season, y'all gonna understand. I'm not the asshole, but anyway, I was on time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh yes, Marshall was too. The other two, the the the. the... <laughs> <laughs> Y'all yeah, left me out there hanging, Quavo. Quavo no, was late. No, 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 I did that because I called myself. Complete. A, I called myself <laughs> what I was about to say. Um. Anyway, we got sixty wrestlers. We got a pool full of sixty wrestlers. Each week, we're going to do. We're going to take out of them 60 wrestlers. We're not going to do all of the 60 wrestlers. We're coming up with a top 10 wrestlers of all time list. And we're picking from those 60 wrestlers. Now, of course, we didn't need 60, but it's, ten, it's five of us, technically. And then they messed it up by throwing every, like, different random names in there. Like, oh, I want to change this person. And I'm like, you act like you're going to win something. If, like, you don't win anything. <laughs> like... Plus, my list, you probably got the most people in there anyway that got, that's one of 10. Me, Marshall, and Colin. Everybody else's list, like, they just... Some of the people that Jay Will put on his list, I wouldn't even put them in the top 25. But Give me, give me two. Give me two he put on his list. The two most absurd he put on his list. This is going to be great. Well, first of all, he put women on a, on a men's list, but... I think I added a woman. I thought, but she's I thought a great it was woman. wrestlers. You didn't say men's wrestlers. I mean, considering the first everyone else gave women, I mean, men, you would think. Not all of them had men, though. Some of them had. Yeah, I, I gave one woman. I gave one yeah. woman. Okay, so who's missing? And, and then the comment was thrown in the chat, too. 
I'm surprised we didn't have more women's wrestlers in here. So yeah, I didn't, you know I didn't diversity. You know, I, I know it wasn't you. He wasn't right. You. So if, if if you okay, so if you want to be diverse, and we had sixty men, then why is there only four women? <laughs> That's not diversity. Yeah, nobody had enough. That's the woman. NBA and the WNBA. <laughs> like, why four? Doing? There should be at least seven. No, if it's going to be that it needs to be at least 30. Seven. What the hell? Oh, I say it out of, out of what was thrown. Up if there's 60 people wrestling and y'all talking about diversity, it should be 30. Right. You're talking about sex. You sound sexy as from, hell. He went from four to seven. Yeah. Right. You, I'm like, <laughs> sex is big. I wasn't talking, man. Fuck y'all. Yeah, I know you oh, messed yourself up there. I was I wasn't talking about how many there should be on there. I'm saying that <laughs> out of mean, all the ones that were mentioned, it was seven in total that I counted. No, no. Don't try to change it now. We can't we yeah. can do that, right? <laughs> you, know, you said earlier in the show, I live in my own world. No, whatever. Half, half, of mine were, <laughs> half of my picks were Quavo right. said, so Quavo said yeah. Now. Yeah, it shows diversity. We should have seven of them on there. <laughs> It's four, yeah. We got three more. Well, you're doing top ten. So yeah, but top it's, ten, that's seven out of ten. No, mm. but it's we pick it from sixty people, and it's only seven women. There's no diversity in this list. <laughs> that's I, why I, I was like, list. when I saw y'all put women, I, I, I just like, gave my nominations. I said oh. when y'all put women, I was like, oh man, these guys. Man. I mean, and and all. I mean, I don't know that many. Okay, so let, let uh, so since you want to do this, okay. <laughs> since you want to do this, we're really doing this. <laughs> who put who, who who put Cody Rhodes? Because you asked me who had the most you asked me who had the most absurd list, right? Uh -huh. so who, I might have put Cody. No, okay. Did you pick Jacqueline? Yeah, I did. Okay, so did. you want to know who is absurd? Who we put on this damn shit? All yes. the doubles, all the doubles I got thrown out. Why like, the oh, hell was Tito no. Santana? You should have put your list in earlier, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I told y'all it couldn't be doubles. I told you that. Did not, Marcus, did not say that. I did say that. I did say that. I said if I said if you pick somebody that's already been picked, you're gonna have to pick somebody else. But why you, would you put Tito in there? Mine. Arriba. Only reason, only reason I had to pay, like I changed mine because Colin put his list like a couple of seconds or or, or right before mine. No, I, I, put one Colin, or two the heat. I put Colin's list in there right before you, but Colin had gave me his list okay. a week before. Oh, okay. His list, oh, okay. should, his yeah, list shouldn't even list. be in there if he ain't going to be on the show, damn it. Hey, your list shouldn't be in there. You putting Tito Santana in there. Tito Santana. Tito, Tito deserves to be in there. Arriba. Of the best wrestlers of all time? Of, all time? of no, 10? he should not be. And we're no, picking man. a four. Out of all the choices y'all left me, what the fuck? Uh, I could, I mean, Cody. I'm more better than Tito Santana. You okay. can put some more women on there. <laughs> right, if you're talking about diversity, um, I bet you ain't at me. Who list, who list had Roman Reigns in it? I did, I had oh. Roman. Okay, yours is not that bad. Okay, I had the one female. No, 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 you know I, why I put her. Let me guess, let me, uh, let me, let me, let me see if you guys can guess this one right. for the pool. And we're going to end this show soon, man, because this pissed me off. That I just dread it. And I, <laughs> in the pool of top of 60 people that we got to pick 10 people out of, this fool put Montez Ford. <laughs> That's Jay Will. That's Jay Will. <laughs> I saw that. I laughed. I, I didn't even mind. see it. I didn't even see it. I didn't see that. I didn't. I, I just. I just saw the top of my head because I know how we think. Oh my god! <laughs> this man. Oh. Like, I'm gonna give y'all my list, and it. I, I think this confused people because I guess they were saying I, when we. And that's no. And I'm not laughing. No offense to Montez Ford, but I mean, damn. So people can understand why we're laughing. Not at Montez Ford, but why we're laughing at the situation. Mm -hmm. Punk, Dan this I kicked the list off. I was the first person to get my list. Punk, Daniel Bryan, Kenny Omega, Edge, Christian, Okada, Macho Man, Samoa Joe, Roddy Piper, Sting. I'm trying to get the top of the top. And so, I had Macho Man on my list. And I didn't know him. 
You know I'm gonna have Macho on my list and I had to take Macho off. So your boy Colin picks Vader, Jake the Snake Roberts, Lex Luger, Ricky Steamboat, Chris Jericho, Eddie Guerrero, John Moxley, Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, and Batista. So right now of the top, the 20 that we have right there, a few of these people are going to be in the top 10. And you know, it looks and sounds like Colin and Michael are taking it serious. Mm -hmm. We get to Soul Man. Not a bad list either. Although, okay, Owen Hart, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Roman Reigns, Rock, Stone Cold, Hulk Hogan, and Mickey James. Everything was great until Mickey. Hey, I love Mickey, dog. Everything Mickey, was great until hey. Hogan. What the fuck? <clears throat> man, no, you got to have, come, what? Got to have Hogan in there, bro. Got to have Hogan, bro. That man ain't kill nobody. I mean, I understand, like, you know, we hate him right now, but as far as, like, wrestling, top 10 wrestlers, dog, like, he held Can't down talk a decade, Can't talk right. about wrestling without him. Can't talk about wrestling without him. He's the reason why it's basically solidified the way it is, dog. He's one of the... Mount Rushmore of wrestling, Hulk Hogan got to be on, on, on the mountain, bro. No. Uh, anyway. Then we get the, 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 the J. Will Popeye's list, sponsored by Popeye's. He goes Ray Mysterio, Diamond Dollars Page, Bill Goldberg, John Cena. Everything's okay so far except DDP. I don't uh, whatever. Yeah, DDP, yeah. JBL, Booker T. <laughs> Montez Ford. <laughs> Undertaker, The Miz, and AJ Styles. The list isn't bad. It looks like it was given to me by a 12-year-old. But... <laughs> All right, so wrestling, wrestler, right? Then and Cody, no, I no, have, no. I, you gotta do Jose. Okay, Cody, I mean, he gave me Cody, Tito, Santana, RVD, Dolph Ziggler, <laughs> MJF. Is that because of all MJF it hasn't been there long enough, Mick Foley. Sasha Banks, Medusa. <laughs> not, not Medusa. China and Jacqueline. Oh my God. So, again, people, let me look into the camera. People. Oh my God. Season three, we're in episode 50, okay? Thank you guys for being with us every week. This is the end of the show. I'm not letting Marshall end it tonight because why? You know, why do anything regular around here? You know, I just told you the list and just told you what I got to deal with all the time with these people. <laughs> Jay will not even hear. This is the beginning of the season. He wants to make a season debut next week. He don't understand. Um, we don't um, need you. He want to come from the rafters and shit. <laughs> These things for real. Like you ain't sting. You you too. Ain't no way you coming from no raptor boy. Ain't, a, ain't no harness available for you, me, or Jose to come from any raptor. <laughs> and I'm not making fun of me and Jose. I'm making fun of you. Even though it's true for all three of us, ain't no harness. Like I could. You know what? We're gonna have to do the stunt. They like, look. We're gonna have to do the stunt. I'm gonna have to get in it right. And they're gonna film me going down, and the lights gonna go out, and then the lights come back on. And Jay will gonna be in the ring. That's how he... <laughs> I quit. I have to find a new network to be on. I quit. <laughs> and you know what? I'm mm. letting myself down. Even though I have been in the gym, mm. I made a goal for myself to be able to go back to the same Six Flags last year that wouldn't let my big ass in them rides. But if me, Jose, and Quavo went, I mean, me, Quavo, and Jay Will went, none of us would be able to go on anything. We will be in the wave park the whole time on the floats. Sip a pina colada. Because that, the one in New Jersey got alcohol. So, oh, you know, shit. Yeah, if you've never been to the one in New Jersey, it got alcohol. Which sounds like a road trip. I don't know, because I don't know if I trust it that much, even though I've already been there. Adults and alcohol 
on rides. Doesn't mix to me, but hey, whatever floats your boat to your bar, your lost remote. I drank a little bit, but I couldn't get on any rides, so it didn't really make an effect for me. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't. You're good to go either way. Yeah, I didn't know. I, only thing I did was I got in the water, but that's it. Um, but yeah, man, listen. I don't know what Marshall usually says to close the show. It's something like leave the perfect, leave the shit at home and shit like that. But I don't know. <laughs> we on our, leave the shit at home. What we the, leave the shit at home. We, we, on our, at home. Yeah. we on Apple Podcasts. We on Spotify. We on Google Podcasts. We also on Anchor. We're gonna be doing something with Quavo on Stereo this season. I don't know what it is. He just cried about it. So I just figured. Why not listen to Quavo? Because he'd be right a lot of the times, except with this list, but he'd be right a lot of the times. So I said, we're going to invest in that. So Quavo will be letting you know soon what we'll be doing on stereo. I have no clue what we're going to do. I'll, I'll be there, though. And, of course, Quavo will be there because he'd be the one setting it up. Um, then, also, we're on YouTube every Sunday now. It's not Wednesday no more. It's Sundays. I'm doing all the Marshall jobs, so I don't have to pay him twice. Um, <laughs> taking a check <laughs> yes 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 uh, I'm doing an episode of Raw when Triple H everybody quit and Triple H <laughs> you doing <it> by... <laughs> Triple H Seamus Cena hey I CM love Punk. that Joe yeah? hey, you know what I'm CM Punk coming out I'm gonna do it with I'm gonna be in the ring with you fuck it he said, he, said, he, said, he, said, he said I get to commentate yeah he's, he's like do I get to wear the coat I got a microphone. Can I, can I use your blazer? Yes, yes. He said, can I use your blazer? He said, yeah. He said, cool. And then he said, oh, one thing about this strike thing, uh, you're going to have to work double duties. So I'm going to need you to ring the bell. He said, double pay? <laughs> double pay. <laughs> 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 That's just, uh, but anyway, Apple, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, Anchor Podcasts, each and every Sunday, 8 o'clock, I think. Yes, 8 o'clock, I said. 8 o'clock, we make our own time. So, 8 o'clock, yeah. you might find it on there earlier. Because sometimes, mm-hmm. for some reason, it might, like, they be, like, do it a little bit later. Like, like if I put 8, mm-hmm. it might come out, like, 8, 10. But I'm dedicated, and we're dedicated to the fans. So, if we say 8 o'clock, it might be there at 7.50. You can check. But we want it to be there at 8 o'clock. So, Whatever. Anyway, also on YouTube, 12 o'clock every Sunday. Also, check out the Man Cave Pod Sport. Damn it, I named the shit and I don't even know the name. Man Cave Sports Podcast. The Man Cave Sports Podcast, Man Man Cave Sports Podcast <laughs> with Jay, <laughs> Willie, and G Money each and every Saturday. Same thing with them. It's a little different, though. 7 o'clock in the morning on Saturday's audio visuals at 12 o'clock p.m. on the 613 Fay YouTube channel. You can find us on 613 Faye DMV on IG. You know what? I never knew how hard this is. Marshall, I will never make fun of you doing this again. Um, <laughs> 613 Faye Productions on Until Facebook and 613 Faye on Twitter. Um, you can usually it's me or Jose uh, on the on the social medias. So if you want to send us some money, uh, just send us a DM and one of us will, you know respond and sh- give you our cash app and then you can cash us for- directly but just know if you cash app us for 613 i can see it so if quavo take the money and him and jay will go to- and yeah i'll know if they go to popeyes together i would know um <laughs> we, we got the app now so yes we get them deals you can follow so we'll trying to door dash that shit man but you can follow soul man <laughs> That's him. That's that's uh, Soul Man. Hold on. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing yet. Don't say nothing. I got it right here. I'm going to show y'all that I'm the host with the most. Um, I'm not even the host. He's pulling it up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. You can find Soul Man <laughs> at Soul Simmons on IG. You can find him oh. Mr. Mr. Soul. Soul Boy 1521. I sound like I can't read. Um, <laughs> on Twitter, Marshall Simmons on uh, Facebook. You can find Quavo, Jose Quavo on uh, IG, Jose Quavo. If you don't know how to spell Quavo, it's Q-U-A-B-O. 
dot eight. Yeah, see, I'm good. Um, <laughs> you can find J Will at Popeye's Discount. <laughs> <laughs> J Will on Facebook at J Will, only one L. Weird. Um, <laughs> IG, you can find them underscore Pharaoh underscore Will, but again, just one L, and then another underscore. That's stupid. Why would people type that? But anyway, you can find Colin on his personal Facebook, Colin Beard. <laughs> 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 so flooded DMs. Flooded DMs. You can tell. <laughs> listen, you can tell that Colin's a wrestler fan. I mean, listen to his IG name. Showstopper. 818. But the Twitter is even funnier. Fight, Baron, fight. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can you would think Colin has no life. And he doesn't do what he does in real life. Like he's successful as hell in real life. But you would think he wouldn't with these Twitter names. He's a troll. <laughs> He's one of the people that Tony Khan was talking about them box with these damn names. Yeah, right. it, if somebody came to me and I was like, hey, man, what's your <laughs> They told me my, my IG name was oh, No Stopper. Man. I wouldn't be like, hey, stop playing with me, bro. Give me your real IG. <laughs> like, <laughs> that ain't it in real life. Stop playing with me. <laughs> listen, we are back, man. Season three. I took over the show because Marshall was over there. Um, he was, we were about to start I'm having, having him, much fun. No, no, we were about to start having him read international names. So I just switched the whole show because I said, <laughs> we're not doing this to our brother this year. Not on season three. We're I'm not going to have him. It. Yes. So <laughs> this, that, just that's the tactic now. Whenever you hear me take over the show, like I just did, it's because we don't want to say, we don't want Marshall to say, <laughs> and all we're talking about is Kenta. <laughs> look, look, I, I think I think an episode where we have one of them crazy ass names. I think everybody should go around and try to say that shit. Hell no. See who could nope. out you ain't setting us up. <laughs> <laughs> I can read, fool. <laughs> and I'm not about to show people it I can't. It's about reading. No, it ain't about reading. It's about pronunciation, my dude. Hey, listen, <laughs> listen. I'm not even going to embarrass oh, myself. I'm not going to embarrass none of us this season except J. Will and hey, Colin. Colin, listen. Matter of fact, Colin, to end the show, don't try this at home, people. Whatever he be saying, leave it to the professionals. Colin, Supercuts is not working for you, okay? They're not professionals for black hair. They let you keep that little ring right here. Listen, Pitbull Gold, bro. Oh. It worked. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to charge it that much. Like right now, I just told y'all I haven't used it in like a month. It's at 85%. Oh. And I haven't even put on a charger. But listen, oh. man. Get you this pit bull gold. You got a you got a big ass head, so you probably need the pit bull golder version. <laughs> platinum. This is a pit bull platinum. Hey, you got like that neo dome, bro. <laughs> I was going to say my, no, Quavo. My mind, my mind registered platinum, but my 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 funny said maybe golder would be funnier. Like he needs he needs that pit bull. He's a pit bull vibranium, bro. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Hey, Marshall, go ahead and say the catchphrase, man, so we can get the hell up out of here. Hey, lead this shit to the professionals. Don't try it at home. And we out. Season three, baby, we back. Hey, we don't need to all, like, go, like, peace at the same time. It kind of look corny. So next week when we do it, we're going to have to, like, not do that. Like, we got to all do something cool, okay? Now hit the bomb. No, that's not cool. Now hit the bomb again. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know what? I'm we. You know what? It's season three, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all extra two oh. more. Give y'all extra two more minutes. Oh shit! Because we're trying, to, we're trying to get this money from oh. all these sponsors this year. So listen, if you're like myself or Colin, 
See, I've already embraced my let it go. But if you like Colin, J. Will, or people that need shavers, Pitbull Gold, people. Okay? We need, we need, listen, Pitbull Gold, promo code, four corners. Again, it might not work, but if enough of you do it, <laughs> then we make it. We make it a code. Um, also at Popeyes, <laughs> if you put if you put four C J Will, that's a 15, <laughs> that's a fifteen percent off five dollar box for first time users. That first time users <laughs> next week. Listen again. I'm gonna give y'all a recap and then we're done. Okay, I promise. I, I promise. You think we would have hit the bomb now? Okay. Next week, I promise y'all, y'all going to be like, they call me the Oracle, but you guys out there are going to call me the Oracle. I promise you. We are going to set Jay Will up next week. We know he's not going to watch this episode or listen to it. We're going to get Jay Will next week to say, if Popeye's had a breakfast menu, what items would be on the menu? Okay. I'm writing this down. So, <laughs> Popeyes, cut the check. Send, send Colin a pit bull gold for free, a complimentary one. Uh, give me some slim fast, slim fast. I see it. This girl, she's on Facebook. She talk about it every day. Mo from Facts. I don't know the name of that. That let me. I didn't say what I was about to say. I didn't say what I was about to say. I, I didn't say what I was about to say, but Mo from Facts, because I know her from Facts, she drinks Slim Fast now, and she has slimmed down a lot. Now, I know Mo, Facts. Mo's kind of crazy, so she probably ain't eating either. So I don't know if that contributes to it, but cut Slim Fast, uh, cut the check. Um, yeah, she pretty, probably exercises too. I, I don't think you just drink Slim Fast and lose weight. I, I think it's more that goes into it than that. The way Jay Will eats, he probably just doesn't like Popeyes. He likes churches as well. The churches? <laughs> about to bring churches back. I thought churches was gone, but church, you gonna bring Listen, churches back. Listen, anyone that sells fried chicken, uh, yums, yums on KFC. Jones Avenue. Yums on Pop fried Avenue. chicken. <laughs> if you go to oh, Jump damn. online and Grubhub and you type in the code JWILL15, you get a free something. I don't know. Listen, none of these shows ever roll. told you. So go to Hip Hop Chicken. Put in yes. Will. New York Fried Chicken <laughs> as well. Um, J Will right now. Chicken is now, Basket. You go to Chicken Basket. You can get that too. Listen, I hey, told you try all. Try it at your local carryout. If you get a chicken, uh, four piece wings or something, you know, so it might work with that too. You, listen, we already told y'all J Will's not here. He got hired for a job and then told us the day he couldn't start. So. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here today right now. He's in New Orleans. And I told you guys everyone's Facebook um, and, and all the social medias. I gave you everyone's social medias this week. So if you go to Jay Will's page, the first thing you look up is he got he just landed in New Orleans. Everything after that has been about food. So any food place, you guys, that you want to order from, put J, code J Will 15 I'm pretty sure it probably might not work. But again, if enough of you do it, they probably might cut the check for us. <laughs> and we need the money. So, especially me, because I do all this shit for free. I ain't getting paid nothing. <laughs> and I'm still fat. So, <laughs> give, give us the monies. <laughs> Keep dead houses away from each other. Please. Tony Khan, got one word for you. Rehab. Um... And Marshall, go ahead and end the show. Please. Hey, we out, yeah. <laughs>